beat Ohio State and they beat Louisville at Louisville who beat Florida State. So, I mean, that tells you right there what, what they're capable of. This team is the best football team we've played athletically. And uh, uh, we're going to have to play very well to beat this team. This reminds me a lot. They're probably a little more talented than Miami of Ohio was last year. So we got our hands full. The crowd's still filing in here at Aloha Stadium, but they are already loud. A big game between Hawaii and Cincinnati. Let's send it back up to the booth. Thanks, Russ. Take a look now at the keys to tonight's game. And it's sponsored by 7-Eleven. Here's the coach. Well, I, I think that uh, we've got in, in uh, Cincinnati, we've got the keys have changed because the conference implications for Cincinnati are so great as a result of TCU's uh, loss. So this is a huge game for Cincinnati. It's a it's a non-conference game right in the middle of all these conference games, but they know they must win it to win their conference and go to the Liberty Bowl. As far as the University of Hawaii is concerned, they must focus on this game and not next week's game against the University of Alabama, which a lot of people are talking about, because as Coach Jones said earlier, this is the best team that the University of Hawaii has played in Aloha Stadium, and they will play very, very well here tonight. So this has all the makings, Jim, of a terrific football game. Coach in Hawaii tonight in his fourth year, June Jones, 29 and 18. He is 19 and 12 in the conference, the Western Athletic Conference, and he is 20 and 12 at Aloha Stadium. Cincinnati comes in five and five on the season four and two in Conference USA. They are coached by Rick Minton. He is in his ninth year, 46, 54, and one. Let's take a look now at the injury report sponsored by the Queens Medical Center. Hawaii's leader in orthopedic surgery and sports medicine, Cincinnati Bearcats, Taiwan Hagler, a shoulder injury, but he will start. And then for the Warriors, you see Shane Kajioka that Bruce Sternum suffered last week against Rice. Travis LeBoy, the ankle injury, but he is a probable player in tonight's game and could start. And then Chad Owens coming back from that knee. He is doubtful, but he may play. A lot of uncertainty in the injury side of things. Hawaii will receive as we start things off from Aloha Stadium. And what do we say about Owens? Remember we said there's a possibility that he could play he is playing and he will go deep Owens is a return specialist of note Hawaii able to win the toss Cincinnati will defend the north end zone or the Haleiwa end zone kicking off is Jonathan Ruffin and we are underway Hawaii against Cincinnati it will go to Owens three yards deep he will return it to the 25 Ruffin in on the play to make the tackle. So Hawaii will have it first and 10 from the 25. Timmy Chang, 3,322 yards, 19 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. He has passed for over 7,463 yards in his career, 44 touchdowns and 38 interceptions. And remember, he is a sophomore. He already is the number one quarterback as far as yardage is concerned in University of Hawaii history first down from the 25 that is complete to Ilawa Ilawa for the first down and we have a penalty flag right away personal foul against Hawaii Paul LeBen is the official tonight they say that um, the knee of Owens touched on the 20. So instead of the 25, when we first spotted the ball, the line of scrimmage was the 20 yard line. And we'll see about this penalty. June Jones has not been, <laughs> he has not been a happy camper when it has come to officiating this year. He had an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty called on him last week in Houston when Hawaii was uh, playing Rice on the road. Personal foul against the offense. Half, uh, half the distance of the goal. Replay first down. 
So the line of scrimmage, well, from the, um, they'll go from the infraction and move it back to the 12 yard line, just over the 12 yard line. Jim, we didn't get a look at that, but I think that occurred in pass protection, just uh, something extracurricular after, after the ball was thrown. But that's so, just speculation on my part. I didn't see it. It is first down and 17 from the 12. Timmy Chang at quarterback. And back there with him is Thibodeau Mitchell. They overload the left side. The pass is complete uh, to Britton Comine. Jason Hunt, number 58, the linebacker on the left side, came up to make the stop. And the ball is advanced over the 15 to the 17-yard line. Tonight's starting lineups are sponsored by Enjoy Snacks. This is good stuff. In that offensive line, Hunter, Kajioka, Fuwata, Manuwai, Moinoa. Then the receivers, Justin Colbert, Ilawa, Komine, Jeremiah Cochran, and Mike Bass. But right now, Mitchell is back there with uh, the quarterback, Timmy Chang. In motion is Jeremiah Cochran. Second down and 12. Throw, that's complete to Cochran. Good move to the inside, but a good hold on the ankle by Willis Edwards. The middle linebacker, a senior out of Cincinnati at Moeller High School. The defense now for Cincinnati. The Bearcats come in with a very good defense. Defensive front and linebackers. Frazier, Billings, Cole, and Adams up front. Frazier will also alternate with Antoine Peake. Hunt, Edwards, and Hagler are the linebackers. And the defensive backs, Adams, Monahan, the leading tackler on the team with 75, Fields, and Norton. Third down. Third down, a long six. Showing blitz is Cincinnati. Ball is given on a delayed handoff, and with it is Mike Bass just into the game, and Bass a very short game over the 25 to the 26-yard line. That will bring up fourth down, and Hawaii will have to punt it away. Well, uh, right there, Rick Minter is really happy with that snap, Jim, because he said yesterday as we chatted with him in the hotel, that one of the things they wanted to do against the University of Hawaii is to completely take away the run. He didn't want any draws, no runs to crease them, and so stopping the run was their first priority and play a lot of zone pass defense, and they were able to do that on that series. Matt McBriar, the Australian, the punter, 43.4 average, his longest punt, 61 yards. Ty Keith is deep for Cincinnati. Excellent punt that drives Keith back inside the 20, takes it on the 17, and here we go. To the 30, and the special team green shirts wrap him up there as he crosses the 30, gets out to about the 34-yard line. 56-yard punt and a 16-yard return. Jim, I might expand on that idea of Rick Minters in stopping the run. I think most people believe that you should stop the run first, even when you're playing a great passing team, because he notices the University of Hawaii's average in 5.5 a snap. And in the fourth quarter, if it's a close game, he doesn't want Hawaii to be able to have, have confidence in the run and go to pure pass. Gino Gadulli, the sophomore out of Fort Thomas, Kentucky, 2,500, 22 yards, 14 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. He is 23rd in the nation in total offense. Gadulli, first down from the 34. Ball is given to McCleskey. McCleskey, the leading rusher, halted as he gets over the 35 to about the 37, gain on the play of three. Cincinnati Bearcats, Takovich, Doolin, Schneideroff. McGee and Gardner in that offensive line. Lucius Keith Van Ollinger. Ollinger had a great game last week. And the uh, running back is McCleskey. Get on the play of four, second down and six. They give forward progress to the 48. The Dooley looking for the pass up the sideline, well covered. And that ball is juggled out of bounds, almost intercepted by Milhouse, but he simply ran out of room. The ball was intended for Olinger up the near sideline. And Milhouse almost had his fifth interception, but it was thrown wide and out of bounds. The Warriors on defense, Lanui Correa, Isaac Sapuwanga, Lance Samuseba, and Houston Alla in that uh, defensive front. Matt Wright, Chris Brown, and Pisa Tinoi Samoa, the linebackers. Then Abraham Ilamimian, Hiram Peters, David Gilmore, and Kelvin Milhouse. Third down, long yardage. From the 43, split back behind the quarterback, Kuduli. Now Kuduli goes back in the shotgun. Kuduli steps up in the pocket with time, now throws. That is thrown wide. It was intended for Ladaris Van, the number one receiver for Cincinnati. 
So the Bearcats will have to punt on their first series. Chet Urban has come in to punt 37.2 yard average. His longest of the year, 58 yards. And Chad Owens back to receive the punt. Owens was not scheduled to be back in the lineup until Alabama next week. He is reported for duty this week against Cincinnati. Takes it at the 22. To the 35. To the 37-yard line. And he's pulled down there. 39-yard punt. 15-yard return. Eleven thirteen remaining to be played in the first quarter. No score when we come back. Hawaii will have it. I offer you the car of tomorrow. It has the right of a luxury sedan, the seating capacity of a minivan, the minivan. and capabilities of an SUV. SUV? Oh, did I mention the compartments for your laptop and your cell phone? They just weren't ready for it. Are you? My name is Harley Earl, and I've come back to build you a great car. Buick, the spirit of American style. I said, put Icy Hot in the Lions kicker's sock, not Brian Urlacher's jock. Huh? J.B., Terry, Howie, and Jimmy host football's most animated pregame show, featuring Jillian's forecast and Kimmel's upset special. Fox NFL Sunday, this week on your local Fox station. Bradshaw? Hey, settle down. Now, don't worry. If Keyshawn Johnson said he'll be here, he'll be here. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh. We'd like to welcome in a guy who always finds time to be on the show, Keyshawn Johnson. Back at Aloha Stadium, Verizon Hawaii will honor a player from each team in tonight's game as it proudly continues its support of the University of Hawaii General Scholarship Fund. Verizon Hawaii making progress every day. We want to send our many alohas to everyone watching in Cincinnati tonight and in this tri-state area from Honolulu and the magnificent Hawaiian Islands. First and ten for Hawaii on the 37. Timmy Chang from the shotgun. Chang looking up the sideline now. Shovel pass. Gets it to Bass. Bass instead of running around the far side where he has speed and perhaps could have turned the corner turned it back up and he was pinched right away. You're going to see Tim Chang come to the outside and let the ball go back to his left to Mike Bass. June Jones is trying to slow down the Cincinnati pursuit. He feels like their defense pursues better than any of the University of Hawaii has played so far this year and they will do things to try to slow them down early. Andre Frazier the sophomore out of Cincinnati went to Hughes High School in Cincinnati made the stop. Chang looks again, looks long. That is dropped. Justin Colbert. Justin Colbert had seven yards on the defense. Well, Jim, I think what happened there, what, what we're going to see happening here is Cincinnati looks like they're in a combination coverage, and Justin Colbert goes straight up the field, and they've got... They've got somebody taking him if he goes inside, somebody taking him if he goes outside, and he goes right down the hash mark, and Timmy Chang unloaded a perfect strike. Cochran is to the far side. Komini Ilawa and Colbert to the near side. The four wide receivers, third down and eight from the 39. Showing blitz. They blitz the corners. Quick pass that's complete to Cochran. Comes back to the inside. And then the defense swallows him up. Excuse me, Colbert extend instead of Cochran. Colbert and Andre Frazier there to make the stop again. Andre Frazier would have none of the razzle-dazzle, and he was there to stop the progress. It will be fourth down, and Hawaii will have to punt again. The people that have to stop the wide receiver screen, Jim, for the most part are people from the inside out from the front. They're the ones that can really make it tough on the wide receiver screen, and that's what happened there with Frazier. McBriar in to punt. First effort was 57 yards, and he'll try to match it. 
Tanubasa Moy is the long snapper. And Ty Keith awaits for Cincinnati. A wobbler, good distance. Keith calls for the fair catch, gathers it in on the 17-yard line. And it will be first down for Cincinnati on the 17. Jim, I should say that Rick Minter, the coach, and you're seeing Rick right here in your screen, the coach at the University of Cincinnati, this is, he's been there nine years and done a fabulous job. And some may say, well, gee, if you look at his record, uh, it's a little under 50%. But he's been very, very competitive, played tremendous schedule as, as evidence this year, and has, uh, has lost a number of coaches and has graduated players, been a tremendous example in the community, just done a fabulous job in the opinion of, of many and those in the profession and something to be admired. First down from the 18, Cincinnati comes out in the I formation, Booker Van and DeMarco McCleskey. It is McCleskey. Pascal out over the 20 to about the 23 yard line. Lance Samuseva out of Waianae and Farrington High School there to grab him. Uh, just one th other thing on Rick Minner, Jim, is he has chosen to stay at the University of Cincinnati when he's had his greatest seasons. And in past times, other coaches who have been at Cincinnati, when they've had a great season, they've left. And so I think he should be credited for showing loyalty to the university and doing a terrific job, as I mentioned. Second down and five. The ball just short of the 23. McCleskey, oh, big hole. McCleskey out over the 30, head butts over the 35 to the 40-yard line. Huge gain. Latanui Correa and David Gilmore finally converged on him. 17-yard pickup, and it really opened up. This is really good push inside by the offensive line, the offensive front of the University of Cincinnati, opening a huge hole. Sapawanga runs around the block, and McCleskey does a nice job of finding 17 yards. McCleskey now over 920 yards and 14 touchdowns on the ground. McCleskey again angles to the right side, and he gets over the 40 to the 42-yard line before Pisa Tinoi Samoa, who leads Hawaii in tackles, and Lanui Correa there to make the tackle for Hawaii. The early going, going well for the University of Cincinnati. They're running the ball with some effectiveness. They've stopped Hawaii twice, and they're in the middle of a drive. They're going with no huddle. Gaduli is calling the offense on the football so that the University of Hawaii will have a difficult time substituting into their nickel package. Dan and Olinger are flanked to the far side. Single setback now is McCleskey. They fake the handoff to him. Being chased, throwing incomplete is the quarterback Gadulis. Sapuwanga was there, and a good pressure by Sapuwanga, and also Houston Alo. We're going to see Gaduli with the ball, and we see Houston Alo, we see Sapuwanga. There's Houston Alo, 93 coming, and Sapuwanga, and Gaduli unloads the ball just before he sat. Third down and eight from the 42. Hawaii putting in. Some uh, defensive backs. But Dooley audibleizing. The Dooley dancing throws. That is complete for the first down at the Hawaii 45 yard line to John Olinger. You could see Gadouli's arm there, Jim, because he stumbled and got the ball to Olinger. He didn't even have his feet up under him, and he got a lot on that football. That was just real good evidence of, of Gadouli, the strength of his arm. Let's watch him right here. You're going to see him start to slip, get rid of the football, and throw a strike to Olinger. Olinger's best game was against Miami, Ohio. He had 13 receptions for 240 yards. First down from the 41-yard line. And no gain on the play to McCleskey. McCleskey last week against Houston became the second ground gainer in Cincinnati football history to go over 3,000 yards in a career. So he keeps adding to that total, except on that play. No gain, second and 10. Ball at the 41 of Hawaii. Van and Olinger are the wide receivers. And so now Van goes in motion. The Dooley short screen. That is complete. That is to Keith. 
Keith may score. He's at the 10. He is at the 6-yard line. 36-yard gain, and that ripped right through the Hawaii defense. Bonifa and Illumimian finally stopped him. Otherwise, that would have been six. Ty Keith, his 37th reception of the season. Let's watch Gadouli here unload the ball to Ty Keith. And he steps over a tackle right there by Tisa Tinoi Samoa. And Bonapa runs him down to set them up on the six yard line. First and goal to go for Cincinnati here in the first quarter. No score. McCleskey able to keep his legs turning. And his knee may have touched at about the five yard line. Sapuwanga Samuseva and Chris Brown there too. Halt his progress. They say he gained only one yard. Second down, goal to go for Cincinnati. Into the game comes Booker Van. Van will set up on the wing, number 44. Cincinnati going without a huddle. The motion is Olinger. Take the handoff, throw it to the end zone. Touchdown, that's Booker Van. And for Booker Van, that's his first touchdown reception of the year. And for Gadouli, his 15th touchdown pass. This so is Cincinnati just, gets on the board first. This is just a classic flood route to the outside. The back lined up in a wing, running into the flat, and Gadouli letting him have a perfect ball for the touchdown. Well executed drive by the University of Cincinnati. Jonathan Ruffin in to try the point after kick is up and the kick is perfect so Cincinnati puts it together with the pass and the run some big plays and the touchdown coming at 552 left to play in the first quarter Here, things aren't always what you'd expect. Like the Mercedes-Benz C240 with a 2.6-liter V6 engine and an electronic stability program. Thank you. Thank you. Drive safely. Starting at only 3565. Dad. What? Honey, get the crane off the rug. Oh, no, I really need this shot. Shop where the experts shop for the best consumer electronics. Good guys. Better stuff. Now pay nothing down and no interest till 2005. Doug Flutie achieved greatness on the gridiron. But his son's autism became his toughest challenge. This is his calling in life. Beyond the Glory, tomorrow at 8 on Fox Sports Net 2. This week on the NFL Show, the guys look back at McNabb's heroic effort and break down what the Eagles must do to stay in the playoff hunt. And you'll never believe what the Niners are saying as Tommy visits the Bay. The NFL Show on Fox Sports Net. Cincinnati, 82 yards in nine plays, three minutes and 42 seconds of elapsed time. Gadouli to Booker Van. Five yard touchdown pass. It is 7 0 Bearcats. Ruffin will kick off to Chad Owens. Owens coming up for it. Takes it at the three. Trying to turn the corner. Gets out over the 20 to about the 23 yard line. And there was some contact over there, but no, no penalty flag. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoha on the field. Yeah, Jim, you guys are talking about Chad Owens. He was expected to be back for next week's game when Hawaii plays Alabama, but he's back tonight. I asked him about his knee. He had that knee injury. He said he's feeling no pain in that knee. And something tells me about the way Chad Owens plays football, that even if he was feeling pain, it was not going to stop him. He just loves to play football, and he's out there tonight. So Hawaii trailing 7 to nothing here in the first period. Hawaii had a chance for a touchdown. Colbert in the clear and he just simply dropped it. And Cincinnati able to come back on a very impressive drive. Very impressive. So Hawaii trying to come back now. First down from their own 21-yard line. Timmy Chang in trouble. He's sacked. 
Trent Cole, his third sack of the year from Wilberforce, Ohio, 6'4", 227, the sophomore. He's had 49 tackles in the last seven games. Terrific quickness up front by Trent Cole. As you see him penetrating, he's right there. He's got Timmy Chang. He does a nice job of making the play. He got there, and some guys would miss right there, but Trent Cole had the strength and the agility to make the play. You're seeing a lot of quickness on the part of the University of Cincinnati's defense tonight, Jim. A.J. Kristoff, their coordinator, has, is a very, very experienced coach, and these guys really, really play hard. That's only the 12th sack of the season. Chad Owens has come into the game uh, in the slot. Timmy Chang pitches to Bass, and Bass goes nowhere. Maybe a yard, maybe we have a penalty fly. But the quickness of Cincinnati. You were mentioning that on videotape, and even the coach earlier this week, speaking of June Jones, says that when he looked at the tape, there were eight players around every tackle. That was an example of it right there. Well, it is, Jim, and I'll tell you, as a coach, as a former coach, I, I respect that so much. When you look at the tape, when you slow it down, right before the tackle's made. Face mask, five yards against the defense, five yards from the end of the run, replay, second down. At the end of the play, if you stop the tape and you see eight, eight people in the frame, and then you mean you've, you've, you've got a good defense and they're playing hard. Let's watch 46 right here. Jamar Enzor. He just gets a face mask. You can see Jamar just get the face mask. And it's second down. Second and 10. d -Rob Mitchell has joined Timmy Chang. Second and 10 from the 21. Chang quick pass. That is complete to Nate Ilawa. And Ilawa forced out of bounds at about the 24-yard line. Zach Norton able to bump him out. When uh, the University of Cincinnati came off last time, the chalk was flying down here with the secondary, and they were trying to straighten out the problem they had that allowed Colbert to get down the middle. And uh, it looks like at this point they may have they may have communicated that to the young people that they have. Triple wide receiver now to the right on third down and seven from the 24. Playing bump and run on Colbert to the near side. Chang looking right now throws. That is complete. That's to Cochran coming back to get it at the 35-yard line, and that's a first down. Zach Norton made the tackle. Jeremiah Cochran with his 21st reception, an 11-yard game. So Hawaii again converts on third down. That's their first first down of the, of the ball game, and June Jones is trying to get a, get a bead on exactly what Cincinnati is doing from a down and distance standpoint. Hawaii 44% in third down conversions this season. They are now 65 for 145. First down from the 35. Tim Chang with time. Crossing pattern. That's complete. Out over the 35 to the 37. Nate Ilawa. Ilawa with his second reception. 12 yard gain on the play. Let's take a look at this. You see Tim Chang unloading the ball. Nadia Lawa had, continues to impress. Does a nice job of gathering that ball in and turning up the field. Just a freshman. First down for Hawaii. They come out in their double wides or the run and shoot. First down at the 47 yard line. They trail seven to nothing here in the first period. Timmy Chang delayed handoff. Up the middle comes Mitchell. Crosses the 50 to the 48 yard line. Jason Russell, 6'2, 207 pound junior from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the linebacker there to make the tackle. In the play of a long three, it'll be six and a half. Second down. I'm sure that's too much on the part as far as Rick Minner's concerned. He wants the run to not yield much yardage at all uh, if he feels that his team can win this football game. Second down, Hawaii has it in Cincinnati territory at the 48. Chang now looking left, checks off, throws. That is complete. Komina inside the 30 to the 27-yard line. And they'll put it now just outside the 26. 22-yard pickup on that play. So Hawaii beginning to test the secondary of Cincinnati. 
And they've advanced it to just outside the 26. Well, you'll see Britton Kamine right here. Timmy Chang lets the ball go on the corner route. The route was cleared out, and Komini ran the corner route as the second receiver. Well-thrown ball. Timmy Chang, 9 for 10 in passing so far here in the first period with 2 minutes and 27 seconds. 71 yards. Chang in trouble. Being chased. Now throws. That's incomplete. Tried to find Mitchell. Great pressure by Jason Russell. Russell chased him all the way outside the 40-yard line. It'll be second and 10. Cincinnati has pressure from the backside here. They need to keep Timmy Chang from rolling this far. They need to have some pressure to keep him inside so they can get to him. Cochran, Kamini, and Ilawa to the far side and Colbert to the near side. Second and ten. Timmy Chang with time throws. Kamini at the five, and that ball comes loose. Well, that's the corner route again, and Kamine would, would love to have this again. This ball's underthrown slightly, but the, re the receiver, Kamini, has got to catch this. So the University of Hawaii has two big drops that could have made, meant uh, a couple of big plays, possibly scores for them. But in the run and shoot, it is only one play. That's right. That's right. We got a big third down here, Jim. Third down and 10. Just outside the 26 yard line of Cincinnati. 2.15 left to play in the first period. Cincinnati leading 7 to nothing. Chang sets up, throws. That's complete to Cochran. Cochran will be given forward progress very close to the first down. In fact, they'll give it to him. First down for Hawaii, just outside the 15. Hawaii converts again on third down. An 11 yard. All right, let's up. watch the outside receiver isolate on him. Cochran's going to come down the field. He's trying to get to right at the first down marker. He has it. He makes the catch for the first down. He did a nice job of getting beyond the marker and coming back to make the play. Ivan Fields finally halted his progress. First down for Hawaii now at the 15 of Cincinnati. 152 left to play in the first period. Chang rolling. Shovel pass. That is to Mitchell. To the five. Mitchell to the three. As Hawaii gets close to the goal line, they like the wide receiver screen, they like the draw, they like the shovel pass, because all those things are just like runs. First and goal to go. The ball just outside the three yard line. Hawaii comes out and sends Colbert wide to the left. On the wing is Comino. Mitchell, the single setback. It is Mitchell to the one. Hero Mitchell, very strong runner around the goal line, was able to drag a couple of defenders with him that time. Clock coming up on a minute to play in the first period, and the ball is at the one. All right, let's get a look at, at Thero Mitchell here, powering the ball inside, keeping his legs moving, driving for the goal line. Nice job by Cincinnati of giving themselves a chance to play another snap of goal line defense. Second down, goal to go. Timmy Chang under center. Again to Mitchell. Mitchell does not get in. Boy, they threw up a wall of white that time, and they were able to fling him back. And the ball just inside the one-yard line, where it will be third down and goal to go. Trent Cole and Willis Edwards. Cole, the defensive tackle, and Edwards, the middle linebacker for the Bearcats. This is just a nice job by the Bearcat front. As you can see, they penetrate well. They make the play at the goal line. And you would think the University of Hawaii, Jim, would take two cracks at this. They're not going to kick this. They're going to go two times to try to get a touchdown. The ball's that close. If for some reason you don't get it, you leave it down there. That's the end of the first quarter. We're at the end of the first quarter. So the people in the Haleiwa end zone 
castigate their fortune. And they'll go to the Honolulu end zone to try to crack it in when we. Spacious cabin, an available DVD entertainment system, and a powerful 4.7 meter V8 engine. The new Lexus GX is an adventure in luxury. See your Southern California Lexus dealer. We began the second quarter. Hawaii has the ball inside the one. Third down, goal to go. They trail in this game seven to nothing to Cincinnati. So Polynesia's team trying to answer back at the start of the second period. Good sustained drive, and it has been highlighted by third down conversions. So we're ready to play third down. And all eyes will be on Thero Mitchell. And some delay here. Timmy Chang looking around. Well, this is the kind of stop. If, if University of Cincinnati could make a couple of stops here, they would really dodge a bullet. So Timmy Chang will come up behind Louis Fuata, the center. Flanked by Kajioka and Manuai. Now we're ready to play. It's been, it's been quite a while. Kept by Chang. Throws into the end zone and throws it wide. Boy, you're going to have an argument all next week on the ramifications of that. You're inside the one. Well, here's here's a bootleg coming to the outside. Timmy Chang throws the ball wide into the end zone. And you can credit Taiwan Hagler for putting the pressure on him. Cincinnati has great pride on defense, Jim. They have not allowed more than two touchdowns in any game in the last three. One of the best defensive teams in the nation. Fourth down. Less than a yard to go. Trying to punch it in is Timmy Chang, waiting for the sign here. And there's been no sign of a touchdown. Apparently, Cincinnati is held. Well, that's a, that's a great job up front by the University of Cincinnati. And the University of Hawaii offensive line just got beat to the punch that time, Jim, on that series of goal line plays. The offensive line just needs to bend their knees and come off the football and get some movement. Hawaii had two. Watch the movement. He never got there. He never got there. What a great goal line stand by Cincinnati. What if you could earn your college degree from a leading accredited university, from home, at the office, or while traveling? At University of Phoenix Online, you attend class when and where you want via the internet learn from current industry leaders and you can earn your degree in just two or three years so you can start applying it toward your success University of Phoenix online call 800-407-3311 do you want to own a computer but your credit is less than perfect 
If you have a checking or savings account and can afford a payment of just $35 a week for 12 months, you're approved guaranteed. That's right. If you have a checking or savings account and can afford a payment of just $35 a week for 12 months, you will get a brand new, brand name computer of your dreams with no credit check and no cash needed today. No credit? Bad credit? No problem. You are approved guaranteed. If you have a checking or savings account and can afford a payment of just $35 a week for 12 months, call right now because you are approved for a brand new, brand name computer no matter what your credit looks like. With no credit check and no cash needed today, call 800-827-2491. That's 800-827-2491. Financing alternatives, computers for everyone. Don't wait, call right now. Call 800-827-2491. and opportunity. Ten campuses on islands of tropical splendor. The most unique educational experience on Earth. The University of Hawaii System. Cincinnati, after a phenomenal goal line stand. First down, the ball just inside the one. And the quarterback sneak by Gadouli. That's a nice job of Cincinnati of getting the their offense some room to run with. All right, we're going to go back to the goal line play, and you're going to see right here that the pads of the Cincinnati players are under the pads of the University of Hawaii offensive linemen, particularly like right here and here. You can see the pads, and the low man wins, particularly on the goal line, a courageous goal line stand by the University of Cincinnati. Second down and nine. The ball still deep. In their territory for the Bearcats. Ball at the two. Ball is kept by Gadouli. Sideline pattern incomplete. Receiver slipping down. That was John Olinger and Abraham Elamimian covering on the play. Gutsy call, though. Well, that's, that's, that's a nice job by both teams. That's a good job by the University of Cincinnati of trying to run something. It can get them out from the shadow of their own goal line. And Kevin Lempa coming with pressure for the University of Hawaii because he's got them backed up. He's not going to let him throw the football. He's not going to let him have seams to run in. Nice job by both teams. Double wide receiver to the left. McCluskey is a single setback. Gadouli audibleizing. Fumble. Hawaii may have it. They're jumping around. Boy, the officials getting down to the bottom of that pile. They give it to Cincinnati. Cincinnati holds on. All right, let's take a look at this. Now, Gadouli may have pulled out from under the center. Let's take a good look. He just, he, the, the guard pulling knocked the ball out of his hand. The guard pulling knocked the ball out of Gadouli's hand. It came out. Now, Cincinnati has got... A short snap. Irvin kicking. Excellent kick. Taken on the 46 by Owens. Owens to the 30. Owens to the 25. Chad Owens, 45-yard punt deep in their own end zone. And a 26-yard return. Man, this is the NFL show. And the NFL's hardcore, so we must stay hardcore. That's right. You know, Tom, you've been out here the longest. You got to make sure that, uh, you know, me and Michael don't get caught up in that Hollywood stuff, you know? You can count on me. If you guys fall off the wayside, just let me know, man. Mike, I think I'm going to get the uh, either the polish or the, or the clear. 
No, no, just just get a nice buff. Hey guys, how about a bikini wax next? Ooh. The NFL Show with Irvin, Siragusa, and Davidson tonight and tomorrow on Fox Sports Net. ACC basketball returns. A dominant form. A superior game. Tobacco Road comes alive as John Cheney's Temple Owls battle Wake Forest and superstar Josh Howard. He's a machine right now. ACC Sunday Night Hoops returns December 1st on Fox Sports Net. Basketball evolved to its highest state. Big Island candies in Hilo on the Big Island of Hawaii, home of the famous chocolate dip shortbread cookie, as well as other delectable chocolates. Visit them online at BigIslandCandies.com. Hawaii has another chance here. John West has gone into the backfield with Timmy Chang. West, number 20, first down from the 26-yard line. Hawaii got as close as you can be without scoring. Chang, quick pass. That is complete to Ilawa. Inside the 20 to the 18. Willie Edwards able to ankle tackle him there. Nice tackle by Willie Edwards. That's an option route to Ilawa. He's the inside receiver. He's going to go outside or inside, depending on where the defense is. It's a read by the receiver, and Timmy Chang let him have the ball in stride. 13-25 left to play in the first half. 7-0 Cincinnati. And they have protected that lead. Hawaii threatening again. Second down and about a yard and a half from the 18. Jimmy Chang looking left, pressured, pressured, now throws and throws it over West. Excellent pressure that time by Cincinnati. Jason Russell again. Boy, Russell has played just a spectacular game here in the first half. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoha. Yeah, Jim, Shane Kajioka, offensive lineman, starting offensive lineman for the University of Hawaii. The word on him is he sprained his right knee on that last goal line stand. And Derek Fa'avi, number 59, a freshman, six foot, 270 pound freshman, is in his place. Kajioka's status is he's out for now, but he's going to try to see if he can get back in the game. So it's Hunter Fa'avi, Fuwata, Manawai, and Moinoa across that offensive front now. Mitchell has come in as a single setback with Chang. Third down and one. Chang throws wide open as Ilawa. 15, 10, the five, the one yard line. Doug Monahan saved the touchdown. Monahan, the leading tackler on the Cincinnati team. 17 yard gain. And Ilawa now five catches for 43 yards. Here's Nate Ilawa. Nobody covered him. He does a great job of running after the catch. Nate Ilawa continues to impress, being able to pick up yards after the catch, break tackles, run over people, whatever. And here we are again. We're at the one yard line. Deja vu. Here we go again at the one. Mitchell, the single setback, Ilawa in motion. Keeping the ball is Chang. Rolling, looking into the end zone, throws incomplete. Uh, yes. Well, it looked, it looked like it could have been the same play. But if you're going to throw down there, throw on an early down, throw on a running down, throw on first down. Throw when the defense thinks you're going to run at them. Britton Kamine was the I'm, intended receiver. I'm, I'm quite puzzled here. The ball inside the one. And Hawaii continues to try to finesse their way into the end zone. So Mitchell again lines up behind Chang. Second down, goal to go on the one. This is the sixth time that Hawaii's had the ball inside the one in this game. Again, trying to pass his Chang. Look out, throws incomplete. Komini again, the intended receiver, but Chang, all kinds of pressure. Russell that time and Jamie Murphy, the two outside linebackers. Let's see the replay here. Chang getting some pressure. Nice job, nice pass rush job by Peek and his friends. I know the University of Hawaii offensive lineman would like to drop into a three-point stance here, come off the ball and try to knock him out of there. Let's see what happens here. This is the seventh play inside the one. Mitchell, he's hit, hit at the goal line. He gets in. It's a nice job by Thero Mitchell of 
bouncing off the first tackle and getting the ball in the end zone. Terrific job of goal line defense by the University of Cincinnati. They are defending their goal line with a passion, and that's what great defenses do. They do not want you in their end zone. They are going to defend their goal line with a passion. The Hawaii got the job done. Great job by Thero Mitchell. Better surge by the offensive line. Eighth. Outstanding running. Eighth rushing touchdown by Mitchell. Ayat for the point after to tie the game at seven. Kick is up, and it is good. We look at the scoreboard, 12-17 left to play in the first half. Cincinnati seven, and Hawaii, after taking chance after chance after chance, they have tied it. You know, opportunities like this don't come around every day. 0.9% financing and up to $1,500 cash back at Nissan's Thanksgiving event. The thrill of driving a new Nissan. Now it's your turn. Celebrate the holidays this year with the Los Angeles Kings Holiday Pack. Get two tickets to three great games against the Coyotes, Sharks, and Mighty Ducks for only $99. Sign up now and get a free 8.5 by 11 photo of King's goalie Felix Potvin. Or upgrade your seats to the lower level and receive your photo autographed by the Cat. For more information on the King's Holiday Pack, call 1-888-KINGS-LA. The rivalry, the big game, and the BCS implications. Tonight on the Southern California Sports Report, Trojans and Bruins face off, and Carson Palmer goes off. We'll bring you complete highlights, post-game reaction from both locker rooms, and analysis from Matt and Petros. And we'll tell you if there's trouble for Bob Toledo. Plus, as USC looks for roses, the rest of the BCS begins to take shape. Your teams, your town, your show, the Southern California Sports Report after the game. Central Pacific Bank sponsors the Loyalty Award by donating $100 toward the Central Pacific Bank Endowed Scholarship Fund for every touchdown that Hawaii scores. Central Pacific Bank, fiercely loyal banking. Kicking off is Ayat. A line drive kick that will go out of bounds. And that will give Cincinnati excellent field position. As they no doubt will accept the penalty. Something that Ayat did not want to do. No, that's that's um, that's a mistake at this point. But but uh, I think the University of Cincinnati needs to come out right now and establish another, get another drive going. Gino Gaduli is a should have a good feel for the University of Hawaii now and what they're doing. They they come right to the football. They may stay in no huddle. Richard Hall comes into the game as the single setback behind Kaduli. First down at the 35-yard line for Cincinnati. We are tied at seven. Hall breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles. And the green shirts finally converge on him. Stutter steps over the 35 to the 38-yard line. And I'll bring up second down in seven. Matt Wright and Chris Brown, the linebackers, finally got him. Here we see Richard Hall, a sophomore from Cincinnati, just continuing to try to break back against the grain, break back against the grain to try to find some daylight and finds a little bit of daylight. The Bearcats on the ball, no huddle. From the shotgun, five wide receivers. Three to the right, two to the left. Gaduli looking left, still looking left. Now throws, it is incomplete. Abraham Elamimian covering on the play along with uh, David Gilmore. Gilmore coming over from his safety position. And also Hiram Peters. That'll bring up third down long yardage for Cincinnati. DeMarco McCleskey comes back into the game along with Hall. And they will set up the protection in the shotgun. Three wide receivers this time. Third down and seven from the 38. 
Quick pass. That's complete to McCleskey. Chased down by Chris Brown. He may be short of the first down. We'll see where they give him forward progress, and he is short. Chris Brown, a good chasing tackle that time. And that'll bring up fourth down. Let's see if uh, Cincinnati goes for it. Apparently they will. Looks Two like, tight ends come into the game. Looks like they're going to go. Either they're going to go, Jim, or they're going to run the snap count play and just try to take a long count and see if a whale jump one or the other. Double tight end. Fourth down. McCleskey behind Gadulli. Gadulli calls a timeout. Good job by the University of Hawaii. Good job by Kevin Lempa's defense of, of having the presence of mind not to jump. And the uh, University of Hawaii is going to be receiving a punt. Hyundai Elantra with America's best warranty. When you get everything you want, you win. Own a 2003 Hyundai Elantra GT for just $239 per month. Now you can celebrate the Anaheim Angels' first World Series championship with Sports Illustrated's exclusive World Series championship package. You'll get the official 2002 Major League Baseball World Series home video, available on DVD or VHS, plus this Sports Illustrated hardbound World Series commemorative, both free with your paid subscription. Your official World Series home video lets you relive all the moments that made the Fall Classic unforgettable. Call now and you'll also get Sports Illustrated's hardbound, gold-lettered, individually numbered World Series commemorative. Both are free when you order 55 issues of Sports Illustrated for only $1.59 an issue. Save more than 50% off the cover price. When you use your credit or debit card, you'll also get this 2002 World Series Championship Baseball with an individually numbered medallion free. Celebrate the Angels' first World Championship with Sports Illustrated. Get into it. Chet Irvin and the punt for Cincinnati as we rejoin the action here with 1040 left to play in the first half. A 7-7 tie between Cincinnati and Hawaii. Chad Owens standing inside the 20. There's the punt. Excellent punt. Owens, no fair catch, no fair catch. Takes it at the 16. Turns the corner. He's at the 30. Down the sideline. Midfield. Owens still on his feet. Owens finally hit down at the 47-yard line of Cincinnati. 40-yard punt, but a 37-yard return. Willis Edwards finally figured things out. Chad Owens making a difference already, Jim. He really, he really gives this team some energy when they need it right here. Chad Owens under the football doing a nice job of not concentrating on the people coming down the field and finding daylight and making a good tough run, not volunteering himself out of bounds, trying to get more. Great job by Chad Owens. Terrifically courageous returner. First down for Hawaii on the 46-yard line of Cincinnati. We are tied at 7 with 10-22 left to play in the first half. Clifton Herbert has now come in. Number 21 is one of the wide receivers. Chang from the shotgun. Gives the ball up the middle to Thero Mitchell. Mitchell spinning at the 40. Mitchell gets to the 38-yard line. Gain on the play of 8, second down and 2. Jason Hunt, number 58, the linebacker, finally halting his progress. So Mitchell, moments ago with his eighth rushing touchdown of the season, shows his determination on that last run as he was probing the secondary. University of Hawaii is second in the nation in yards per carry at 5.5 for the year. Hobart and Cochran are the wide receivers. Kamini and Herbert in the slot. Second down. And about a yard and a half. Here's Mitchell again. Has the first down. The 30. The 20. The 10. The 8-yard line. And we have penalty flags. 30-yard 30 30-yard 30 romp right up the middle. That's exactly what Rick Minter did not want. He did not want Hawaii. He did not want Hawaii to be able to 
run the football against his defense. Let's see what happened here. Huge hole. And again, great determination by Thero Mitchell. Asked him early on, do you want to pronounce it Thero or Thero? He says Thero because it rhymes with hero. The minute. We have two fouls against the defense. Personal foul, face mask, half a distance of the goal, automatic first down. The second foul, dead ball, personal foul against the defense, half a distance of the goal again, first down. All right, let's see if we can see the face mask. Nice job by Thero Mitchell breaking a tackle at the line of scrimmage. He turns it up inside. We see the face mask right there. And I don't know if we'll be able to see the, the personal foul. We will not see the personal foul. But Hawaii's at the two-yard line. Holy cow. Chad Owens has come back into the game. That's very rare. That kind of penalty is very rare. Having a personal foul and then a dead ball personal foul. So Hawaii right back down, knocking on the door again. And they have it. First down and goal to go. Now Hawaii calls a timeout. 9.29 left to play in the first half. We are tied at seven. Why did I put a 240 horsepower supercharged V6 power plant in a mid-sized family sedan? Because it feels so good. My name is Harley Earl, and I've come back to build you a great car. Buick, the spirit of American style. I said, put Icy Hot in the Lions kicker's sock, not Brian Urlacher's jock. Huh? B, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy host football's most animated pregame show, featuring Jillian's forecast and Kimmel's upset special. Fox NFL Sunday, this week on your local Fox station. Bradshaw? On the next Beyond the Glory, for Doug Flutie, being underestimated served as motivation. He won the Heisman. He proved everybody wrong. But his son's battle with autism became his toughest challenge. And then that scared living daylight out of us. And it gave him a purpose greater than football. I really believe that this is his calling in life. The triumphant story of a larger-than-life athlete, Doug Flutie, Beyond the Glory, tomorrow at 8 on Fox Sports Net 2. So Hawaii is down here again. It took them seven rushes, or seven plays, I should say, inside the one-yard line to finally score. But it's taken them two rushes to go 50 yards, so <laughs> it's, the game doesn't make sense. Yeah, you know, it doesn't. Ball. It doesn't. Ball is just outside the one-yard line. In motion is Owens. The pass is Chang throws into the end zone. Ooh, through that. In the coverage that was intended for Chad Owens, Jim. One of the one of the probably it's one of the nuances here on the goal line and out in the field. People say, well, how can you run out in the field so effectively? The Hawaii offensive linemen are in a two-point stance on the goal line. Most teams are in a four-point stance or a three-point stance. A lot of weight forward, but Hawaii's offense and it's a wonderful offense is in a two-point stance out in the field. People rush up the field. They expect pass down here. The defense is just going to be a little lower. And so Hawaii has to catch them coming up the field and create creases. So the offensive line's at a little bit of a disadvantage in this situation. Timmy Chang 0 for 4 and passing from down deep. Chang, shovel pass. And that does not get to the end zone. Clifton Herbert that time. You know, it would seem to the cursory football fan that when you get down this close, Finesse goes out the window and you got to pound it in there. 
Well, that, that, that's probably a question, Jim. That's something that people will debate because some people say you stay the way you are. If you're a two-point stance, you stay in a two-point stance wherever you are. Others say you drop to a three-point stance in short yardage and goal line. That's a debate. But it's a debate that I'm sure the University of Hawaii coaches have had. They're comfortable with what they're doing. What they're doing is, is very, very successful. Let's see if, we can get, if the University of Hawaii can get it in here. Third down inside the one. Mitchell. Mitchell scores. Second touchdown for Mitchell. Eight ninth touchdown of the season for Thero Mitchell. And Hawaii finally pounds it in. And they take the lead for the first time. And Cincinnati's defense has been very, very stingy the last three weeks. This is the fourth week. As I mentioned earlier, they have not allowed more than two touchdowns in any game uh, in the last month. So we have some pushing and shoving and some bravado going on between both teams. And the officials step in between them. 8.35 left to play in the first half. Hawaii now leading 13 to 7 and Ayat trying to tack on the point after with the Allen the kick is up and it is good let's take a look at this by by Mitchell here we have the offensive lineman in a three-point stance Thero Mitchell powers his way into the end zone. Nice job up front. Nice job by Thero Mitchell. University of Hawaii had 14-7. And it's, it's going to be up to the Cincinnati offense here to move the football because for almost a quarter now, the University of Cincinnati has not done much offensively, and the University of Hawaii offense has just been on the field an awful lot. Hawaii moves 46 yards in five plays in a minute and 47 seconds. The big play on that drive was Hero Mitchell's 30-yard run. And that was followed by two personal foul penalties. And that positioned them to punch it into the end zone and take the lead 14 to 7. Derek Ross, number 22, and Carl Jones, number 21, are deep for Cincinnati. Well, you see Justin Ayat will kick off. You see Thero Mitchell, Jim, and Thero is a really physical young man. It looks like he can power that ball in the end zone. I like where he keeps his mouth fixed. Yeah, how about that? That kicks off. It will go to Carl Jones on the three. Jones to the 20. Production services for this telecast have been provided by Kanak Attack. Affordable catering for all occasions. Eat till you sleep. Big people in Cincinnati don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Ball is on the 20 for the Bearcats. Very potent offense. They come out with three wide receivers and they come out in the I formation. Richard Hall and DeMarco McCleskey. Hall is the fullback, McCleskey the tailback. First down from the 20. Faking the handoff to McCleskey. Throws. That is incomplete. It was intended for Van. Ladaris Van, who is the leading receiver. In fact, he came into this game with 62 receptions for 732 yards and five touchdowns. Van's best game this year was against Temple. He had nine receptions for 141 yards and two touchdowns. Gadouli is 4 for 10 for 62 yards and that one touchdown. That was to Booker Van. Second down from the 20. Gadouli throws sideline pattern. That is off the hands of Olinger. Covering on the play was Kelvin Milhouse. And that will bring up third down and 10. Well, Gadouli so far is just a little bit off target. He's a little bit off target and they need to complete a high percentage to keep the ball moving. It is a very humid night in this stadium. We could be visited by all kinds of creatures before the night's over. Varmints. Third down and 10 from the 20. From the shotgun, Gaduli. 
It's the handoff, and immediately tackled is McCleskey, Ilamimian, and Chad Kailimoku. Kailimoku out of, out of uh, Roosevelt, I should say, and Santa Ana College. Boy, they just pinched them. Let's take a look at this. Here you see the draw play, and you see Elamimium, Chad Kalidimoku, terrific, terrific job by the defense. So Irv Irvin is in the punt again on fourth down and 10 from the 20, waiting is Chad Owens. Excellent punt. Owens looking up, no fair catch again, takes it at the 32. Owens trying to turn the corner, running out of room. Comes back the other way, giving ground. They finally horse collar him back inside the 30 at the 27. 48-yard punt, and this time only a one-yard return by Chad Owens. Cincinnati has had enough of his tomfoolery. Well, at a certain point, Chad Owens just got to put his cleats in the ground and get back up the field and get start getting some yards in the record book right there, but he's got great instincts. He's got tremendous quickness. And above all, he believes in his capabilities, and he believes in his blockers, so he's just trying to make a play there. Seven minutes, 28 seconds left to play in the first half. Hawaii leading 14 to 7. Hawaii coming from a 7 nothing deficit. They come out with those double wide receivers. In the run and shoot from the shotgun again, Timmy Chang. Fearold Mitchell back there with him. Showing blitz up the middle. They do not. The throw, that's complete to Pomini. Trying to get outside, turn the corner, has the first down, and has run out of bounds. Run out of bounds by Zach Norton, an 11 yard gain. All right, this is a replay. Tomini is the inside receiver. You're going to see him come outside and then come back to the inside, just show his number to Timmy Chang, and then take it back outside and out of bounds for the first down. Timmy Chang is 15 for 23, 138 yards. First down on the 43-yard line. From under center, Timmy Chang backing straight up, sideline pattern. That's a complete again to uh, Komine. And Komine bumped out of bounds immediately from the 43 up to the 47-yard line. Taiwan Hagler there to bump him out. So Hawaii, always the variation on the theme. You can almost hear the chorus of their football offense in the background as they throw and throw and throw some more. Triple wide receiver to the right. Second down and 10 here in the first half. With 6.51 left, Komini in motion. Chang looking. Now throws sideline pattern. That's complete to Herbert. Herbert catches the ball inside the 49-yard line of Cincinnati. That will bring up third down, short yardage. Clifton Herbert, his 27th catch of the year. He came in with 353 yards and three touchdowns. He had two touchdowns against Tulsa. You could see right there on that snap, Jim, what Rick Minter talked about in our conversation last night, just how quickly Tim Chang gets rid of the football. He just had saw Herbert in the corner of his eye and just flicked the ball out to him in the flat. Colbert and Cochran are now the wide receiver, triple wide receiver to the left. Chang looking left throws. That's complete to Comini. First down, and he's twirled down at the 40-yard line of Cincinnati. So Hawaii continues to move the chains through the air. Willis Edwards there finally to tackle him. Comini now five catches for 51 yards in this first half. Comini now has 49 receptions on the season. 49 receptions and eight touchdowns. First down from the Cincinnati 40. Timmy Chang with time, throws over the middle, and Herbert comes over. Did he make the catch? They say no, it hit the ground. He was open. So it'll be second down and 10 from the 40 for Polynesia's team. Let's take a look at this as we see the ball coming and 
Clifton Herbert going down after the football and we can't see what the official sees. The officials in front of him. The officials out here that cause that and he saw it drop. Chang on second and ten. Dancing, dancing, throws. That is almost intercepted and then incomplete. It was intended for Herbert and Herbert was fighting Ivan Fields for possession. Herbert had a chance, Fields had a chance, and it finally tumbled away from both of them. And that'll bring up third down and 10 with 6.04 left to play in the first half. And June Jones told Chim Chang after this throw that he, he didn't step into the throw. And it took something off the throw. Third and 10, Hawaii has been able to convert on third down. Hawaii is six for nine on third down convergence and six out of the last seven. Quick pass, that's to Cochran looking for the first down marker. He won't get there. Cochran had blockers up the middle, but he never was able to get behind the blockers. And Patrick Adams, the defensive end, diagnosed well, came back and made the tackle, and it will be fourth down. So here comes Whippy Allen, and Hawaii may be trying a very long field goal here. Justin Ayat in field goals, 13 for 20, his longest of the season, 50, a 50 yarder against uh, Fresno State. This will be a 51 yard attempt. He has plenty of leg. Kick is blocked. Cincinnati will have it. And they will have it with excellent field position on the 36 yard line. 517 left to play. And now Cincinnati following that block. And they said that Antoine Peak was able to block it. And Peak has made a career of doing that. He's blocked five field goals and one punt in his career. That would be his sixth. All right, let's see. We see Antoine Peak right here coming up, making the great leap. He's got the terrific vertical jump. Does a nice job. He's their big play guy on defense, an outstanding senior. Fifth year senior, outstanding professional prospect, Antoine. Peake. Sixth time that he has blocked a field goal. First down from the 36 yard line for Cincinnati. They trail 14 to 7. Cincinnati may have moved. Sapawanga came across. The way he came across with his hands extended, he was pretty sure that we had some movement. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Remains first down. Olinger and Keith and also George Murray has come in as a wide receiver. Murray is the um, backup quarterback. And he is in as a wide receiver now for Cincinnati, number seven. Kuduli with four receivers, three of them posted to the right. First down and 15, quick pass. That is complete to Murray. Murray getting outside, and he's finally headbutted out of bounds by David Gilmore coming over from the safety position. So Murray, the backup quarterback, in for special play, or at least that one. And they say that uh, he's going to go and remain in the game in the slot. And he could catch a lateral, Jim, and still throw the football a little later in the game. Second down and six from the from the 40 yard line to Dooley from the shotgun. This is the exact same formation that Hawaii uses all the time. Quick pass that is complete to Murray. Murray ventures out near midfield. That's enough for the first down. So a 10 yard gain for Cincinnati. For Murray, that's only his <laughs> second, his second reception of the season. I, I'm chuckling because a giant moth just flew into the booth, and the humidity starting to produce flights now of insects and flying things. McCleskey carrying the ball from the 50 to the 45-yard line. Lanui Correa and Chris Brown there to make the tackle. You showed great agility, though, Jim, on that. <laughs> I didn't think he could move that quick.
Second down and four. Again, it's McCleskey. And McCleskey hit about a yard after the line of scrimmage, but a good spin move gets him more yards. And Pisa Tinoy Samoa finally halts his progress. That'll bring up third down, short yardage. Third down and about a yard. Ball is placed on the 42 yard line of Hawaii. So Cincinnati inexorably moving the ball and using a combination of quick passes and runs. McCluskey back there with Gadouli on third down. Hawaii not showing blitz. Hawaii rushes four. Gadouli rolling. Now throws. That is knocked away by Milhouse. It nice was job by for, Milhouse. Holy it was, cow. It was intended for Olinger. Milhouse was all over him that time. Olinger did not get rid of him. He let him, he let him just sit on him. And Kelvin Milhouse did a nice job of anticipating this route and sitting right down on it and doing a nice job of playing the ball with his right hand. Fourth down and Cincinnati will go for it. It is time for the Hawaii defense to show some hot ahead. McCleskey, first down and more inside the 40. Spun around as he gets to the 36-yard line. Good angle run that time by McCleskey. Travis LeBoy and Pisa Tinoy Samoa there to double-team him. Let's watch the offensive front here of the University of Cincinnati. Just a stretch play. Everybody just man blocking, and McCluskey takes it right up in behind it. Now Cincinnati has advanced the ball to the 36-yard line of Hawaii. They trail 14 to 7 with 3 minutes and 24 seconds left to play here in the first half. The Dooley from the shotgun. The Dooley will run it. The Dooley puts his head down, gets inside the 35 to the 32. Ilimoku and Pisa Tinoi Samoa there to make the, the, the stop. Ilimoku out of Kapolei. Okay, now this could be Jim. The the uh, he set up. He's going to throw the ball out to to uh, Murray, and Murray's going to throw a pass. No, Gaduli gives the ball to McCleskey. McCleskey to the 30. Fiani Alapa, number 46. Alapa, the linebacker on the left side, he is from Ka'ava and Kamehameha. I just feel like before the night's over, Jim, is going to take the ball under center. He's going to throw it out to Murray, a lateral, and Murray will throw the ball down the field because they have that set up with a quarterback in the slot. Third down. Third down and four from the 30-yard line for Cincinnati. 2-11 left to play. Cincinnati trailing 14-7. Gaduli, pump fakes, throws. It is in the air. It is incomplete. Threw into double coverage that time. It was intended for Ty Keith up the sideline inside the 20-yard line. Leonard Peters came over to help out. Here you see Gaduli throwing the football. Rich Miano, secondary people from the University of Hawaii are doing a tremendous job of breaking on the ball and being close to people, as you can see there as they had Keith sandwiched. There's Where Rich you Miano. see Rich Miano. Field goal try. This one on its way. This one is good. So the field goal by Jonathan Ruffin. And Cincinnati gets closer. It is now 14 to 10. Jim Ruffin now is 13 of 16 for the year, which would make him one of the top kickers in the country. Uh, maybe a candidate for the Lou Groza Award because that's a percentage that, that most uh, would only dream about. He's right up there among the leaders in the uh, Conference USA field goal statistics. There you see some scores. You may comment, Coach. Well, we see Ohio State, Washington coming back to beat Washington State in triple overtime. What a game uh, in the Palouse. Big win for Rick Neuheisel. Uh, here you see Oklahoma having none of Texas Tech, 60, and USC was ahead of UCLA, 52-7. to 7. I was told the largest margin since 1930. 
uh, in that football game. And Kansas State, Jim, one of the top football teams in the country at this point in time. NC State beating Florida State for the second straight year. And Colorado State over, over New Mexico. Colorado State uh, looks like they're going to the Liberty Bowl as the representative of the, the uh, Mountain West Conference. Ruffin's 47-yard field goal makes it 14-10 with 1.54 left to play here in the first half. Chad Owens deep. Ruffin approaches the ball and kicks it deep to Owens. Comes up, takes it at the one. Behind the wedge. Owens trying for the near sideline. Leaps over a man at the 27. Gets out over the 32. Just short of the 35-yard line. 148. Sean Withy Allen now will come into the game at quarterback. Withy Allen comes in 6-4-2-19, a senior, three-time University of Hawaii scholar athlete, 26 of 45 for 475 yards, five touchdowns, and one interception. He also runs the ball, 186 yards and two touchdowns. Those touchdowns coming against UTEP and Boise State. Let's see if Cincinnati's defense thinks a little more quarterback run here. With the Allen. First down from just short of the 35. Trying to get around the corner. Just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Excellent job that time by number 55, Jamie Murphy from Tallahassee, Florida. 6'2", 229, sophomore for Cincinnati. Cincinnati has a thread of people from Florida. A lot of players from all over the country, but Murphy did a great job there. Uh, against the run. 125 left with the Allen throws. That is complete to Comine at the 40 yard line. Comine yet another reception. And the clock continues to tick away. Coming up on a minute 10 left to play in the first half. 14 10. Hawaii leading over Cincinnati. Hawaii comes up to the line with three wide receivers to the right. Under a minute to play now in the half. With the Allen. Steps up in the pocket, throws, sideline pattern. Komine, did he get a foot down? He did. I believe he did. No, now one official says no, he didn't. I thought he had a foot down. But we're way up here. They're way down there. Well, he had an excellent look at it. That's a terrific throw by Sean Whitty Allen. He put the ball right on the money. He, he can, made a terrific throw here with people all around him. Let's watch this. We have a good look at this. You see Comini, his foot is down. It looks like it's a catch. It looks like it's a catch right there, but the, the official was right on it. See, the crowd been shown, uh, has been shown the replay. That's their reaction. I believe that was a catch. Fourth down. Matt McBriar needs to punt this away, and he does. Waiting for it is Ty Keith. Takes it inside the 20-yard line. Keith in trouble. Down he goes at the 15. 41-yard punt, minus three-yard return. 39 seconds left to play, and a penalty flag has been thrown. There you see Tanovasa Moore, the long snapper. And he was there making the tackle. Personal foul against Cincinnati. Well, Cincinnati will be thrilled to death, Jim, to get into the locker room behind 14 to 10. And that will be their goal right here. They're going to get the ball backed up a little bit. And Hawaii can use a couple of timeouts so they can maybe force Cincinnati to, to have to punt the football. They'll mark off Dead the ball. Personal foul. Against the return team. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Coach is not happy. I believe he isn't happy with Kevin Hazel. Hazel, one of the backup wide receivers playing on the special teams. First down, the ball at the nine following the penalty. 
McCaskey keeping his feet, carrying green shirts with him out over the 15-yard line. Excellent, determined run. Alapa and Peters there to make the stop for Hawaii. And the clock continues to wind down the final seconds of the first half. Hawaii leading 14 to 10. Keski again trying to get outside and he's ridden to the turf very close to the first down. Laanui Carrere making the stop. That'll do it. That's the end of the first half. Hawaii leads 14 to 10. Two very determined teams on the turf at Aloha Stadium as the first half is now into the books. Cincinnati scoring first on a very good solid drive. Hawaii having many cracks at it down deep. Finally getting two touchdowns, and then Cincinnati coming back, making it close on a 47-yard field goal by Chet Irvin. There you see, there you see uh, Coach June Jones, and he is upset with that call. Well, I tell you, it's a good first half, Jim. Both teams, I think, did some good things. Both coaches have got plenty to be concerned about, and I think it's just it's a good match between these two teams. A very prideful Cincinnati team. That's come all the way across the country and a very prideful University of Hawaii team that finds himself 25th ranked in the country. And I think we'll have a great second half uh, because I believe that the University of Hawaii will, will find more offense in the second half, but I really believe Cincinnati will as well. It was expected to be a close game, and it's turned out to be in the first half. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoha. Coach, at times your defense had the Hawaii offense looking uncomfortable there in the first half. Well, I, I'm proud of the way our defense played. Anytime you hold June Jones down to 14 at the half, you've done something. But uh, everything they got, we gave them. And uh, we got to get those errors corrected. Our offense got to get going. Defense got to hang in there. Special teams got to quit sputtering. Yeah, what do you tell your offense at halftime here? Hey, where are you? We, we got to be accounted for. Uh, we brought you on the trip, too. So uh, let everybody line up and carry their own load. If we do that, we'll be okay. All right, Coach. Good luck to you. So it's halftime, 14-10, Hawaii leading Cincinnati. More to come. I love what he... Imagine if you could reduce the interest rate on your credit cards by half or more. Interest on our cards used to be 21 to 23 percent. They were impossible to pay down. Get your unsecured debt paid off in three to five years. Before Cambridge, it would have taken me 15 to 20 years to get out of debt. With Cambridge, I'll be debt free in four and a half to five years. Reduce your monthly payments. I couldn't keep up with my payments anymore. Cambridge lowered my monthly payments so that I'm able to manage it. Get cash back through the Good Payer program just by paying your bills on time. We've gotten three checks so far. One for $230, another for $135. And the last one was $150 just for paying on time every month. Cambridge Credit Counseling is a nonprofit service. They'll work with you and... For Hawaii and Cincinnati. Here's the coach. Here we are with the adjustments, Jim. I think here you see Thero Mitchell just clipping off a sizable game, I believe a 36-yard gain. And the biggest thing the University of Cincinnati needs to do is do what they said they were going to do going in and stop the run on first and second down so that Hawaii has to be one-dimensional and just throw the football. That was their goal coming in. As, as far as, as Hawaii is concerned, they've got to continue to get things out of the kicking game because the kicking game was huge for them, and they just have to continue to try to be more consistent with their throwing game. I think Cincinnati has many adjustments, as I said, they need to make, but keeping the kicking game or getting the kicking game going better for them needs to be big, and their running game needs to be better as well as stopping the run. So most of the adjustments I see are on the part of, of the University of Cincinnati. Hawaii's got a couple of drops, or they could be uh, way ahead in this football game, and I, I think that they just need to keep doing what they're doing and uh, both teams are really playing hard. I think this is going to be a great game, a great college football game down the stretch. Second half underway. Ayat kicking off, and it will go into the end zone. Just made it. And so Cincinnati will begin on the 20-yard line. Gino Gadouli in the first half, 6 for 15, 81 yards, one touchdown. His longest successful play was 34 yards. And DeMarco McCleskey, 13 carries, 55 yards. His longest run, 17 yards in that first half. 
So here comes Cincinnati. They trail 14-10 as we start the second half of play. This game very important to the post-game aspirations of the Bearcats. They come out in the I formation, McCleskey and Booker Van. McCleskey, the tailback, steps through into the secondary, still on his feet, still on his feet, all the way out to the 34-yard line. Boy, an excellent run. 15 yards. DeMarco McCleskey with a terrific run. Tiptoes through the line of scrimmage and throws great power and leg drive as Hiram Peters tries to drag him down. The ball advanced all the way to the 35-yard line. Excellent opening play of the second half. Yes, Cincinnati comes out on the shotgun. McCleskey, he slashes over the middle and gets out close to the 40-yard line. You can see a renewed uh, dedication to the running game on the part of Cincinnati because they, they had really committed, Jim, after their their uh, I think sixth game that they were going to run the football more they were going to work harder at it they were going to be more persistent they weren't as persistent and consistent in the first half and I can think you can see that they've rededicated themselves to that starting the second half second down five and a half Van and McCleskey again in that eye it is McCleskey he's dropped by Pisa Tinoy Samoa Tinoy Samoa showed up in that backfield in a hurry and he was followed by Houston Allah. So a loss on the floor. Now here, here you see Pisa Tinoy Samoa right here getting penetration. As the ball is snapped, he comes right into the backfield, making the play in the backfield. Ball is back to the 37-yard line. Third down and eight for Cincinnati. They come out with four wide receivers. Quick pass. That is complete to Keith. Keith with the first down before he takes a lick at the 48. So that screen works that time. An 11-yard pickup for Cincinnati. And they convert on third down. Here you see Keith getting the football. Gadouli makes a nice throw. He almost hits the crack for a big play. And Hiram Peters makes a very, very sure tackle. You see tonight the Hawaii players have NJ for Nate Jackson, Jim, on their helmets. Nate uh, in the hospital recovering from a heart surgery. We all wish him very, very well. Knowing that Nate is watching tonight, one of the great defensive backs of all time. Good pass. That is complete to Olinger. And Olinger steps inside of the 40-yard line of the Warriors. So Cincinnati moving on this opening drive here in the second half. Keith Bonifa made the stop. You see Gadouli rolling right, making a nice, nice throw. Terrific job getting the ball outside. Derek Ross comes in as a wide receiver. Derek Ross coming in the game. McCleskey now is a single setback. First down from the Hawaii 38 for Cincinnati. Gadouli audibleizing. He will roll. Quick pass, coming back to get it is Olinger. And again inside the 35 to the 34 yard line. That'll pick up about four, second down and six. That's Abraham Illuminian there covering on the play for Hawaii. But Cincinnati moving. Couple catches in a row by Olinger. He had a whole pot full of catches last week. Again, four wide receivers. Cincinnati using the Hawaii offense and running it well from the shotgun. Another pass. This is complete to Keith. Keith hard to bring down. Trying to take the ball away was Illuminium. And that's enough for a first down all the way to the 22 yard line of Hawaii. Let's see where they put it. They will put it just inside the 23. And it's first down for Cincinnati. This is very impressive. Yeah, quick, quick passes on the part of Gino Gadouli. Rusty Burns calling quick passes for the Cincinnati offense as we start the second half. They come out with a double tight end alignment. Two wide receivers to the right. McCleskey. McCleskey powers to the 20-yard line. Gain on the play of three. Second down and seven. Cincinnati just able to inexorably move the ball up the field using a good pattern of run and pass. 
Keanu Yalapa and Hiram Peters double teamed him. Cincinnati continues in no huddle. Second down and seven. The Dooley again from the shotgun. And we have a penalty. Travis McGee, the guard on the right side out of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. He went to San Francisco Community College. He moved. Dead ball. False start. Only offense. Five yard penalty. Remain second down. San Francisco City College, that's where Nick Rolovich went. George Rush is a head coach there. Evan Dobell, president of the University of Hawaii, used to be the president of uh, San Francisco City College. Kaduli, four for four, 41 yards on this drive. Second down and 13 from the 25. Five wide receivers. Kaduli back there by himself. Kaduli, quick pattern, throws. That is complete inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Bonifa making the stop on Ladaris Van. Van making his first catch of this game. And that is now his uh, 43rd game in a row that he has made a catch. And that's his 63rd catch of the season. Big third down play again for Cincinnati. They are well within field goal range, but they don't want to stop here. Again, five wide receivers. Gadouli, quick pattern, throws, lofts it for the end zone. There's bumping going on, and there is no flag. Ladaris Van was uh, the intended receiver, and covering on the play was Keith Bonifar. So the field goal team will come on. Jonathan Ruffin, a 47-yarder in the second quarter. He is trying to kick this field goal. This will be a 36-yarder. Angle from the right. High snap. Kick is up. Plenty of leg. Kick is good. 47-yarder, 36-yarder. It is now 14-13. Hawaii leads by the slimmest of margin. You ready? Let's do it. Around here, things aren't always what you'd expect. Like the Mercedes-Benz M-Class. It starts at 37265 with eight airbags, emergency sensing brake assist, and scheduled maintenance. The rivalry, the big game, and the BCS implications. Tonight on the Southern California Sports Report, Trojans and Bruins face off, and Carson Palmer goes off. We'll bring you complete highlights, post-game reaction from both locker rooms, and analysis from Matt and Petros. And we'll tell you if there's trouble for Bob Toledo. Plus, as USC looks for roses, the rest of the BCS begins to take shape. Your teams, your town, your show, the Southern California Sports Report after the game. I said, put Icy Hot in the Lions kicker's sock, not Brian Urlacher's jock. Huh? Oh. JB, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy host football's most animated pregame show, featuring Jillian's forecast and Kimmel's upset special. Fox NFL Sunday, this week on your local Fox station. Bradshaw? Officially, it's a 35-yard field goal. And it's 14-13. Hawaii leading by one. Chevron with Tecron removes deposits. Other brands can leave behind, so your car performs its best all the time. Jonathan Ruffin will kick off for Cincinnati. Chad Owens is deep. Line drive kick angling for the corner. That will go out of bounds. And Hawaii will begin from the 35-yard line. Let's go down to Russell Yamanoho. Yeah, Jim, a matter of concern now for the University of Hawaii football team. 
Uh, Timmy Chang was late coming out of the locker room. The word on him is he might have some sort of uh, sprained knee, but he was definitely late coming out of the locker room. At backup quarterback, Jason Wilden was taking some warm-up throws over here on the sideline. Also, Sean Withy Allen was taking some, some throws. And right now, it looks like Timmy Chang is not out of the ballgame. Sean Withy Allen is in right now. Withy Allen will start here in the second half. With the Allen played briefly in the uh, first half, he was one for two for five yards in passing. Eagle so kick out of bounds. They accept the illegal kick out of bounds. First and ten at the 35. So the responsibility of this very potent run and shoot offense now falls on the shoulders of Sean with the Allen, and concern for Timmy Chang. With the Allen played in the final moments of the first half, and we wonder whether the injury occurred then. But as you heard Russell Yamanoha say, he was late coming out of the locker room. He is on the sidelines with his helmet on. But With the Allen gets a start in the second half. With the Allen throwing, that is incomplete. It was intended for Mike Bass coming out of the backfield, and that will be second down and ten. With the Allen certainly is not as prolific as Timmy Chang, although there have been moments of brilliance this year for With the Allen. Well, he's done a terrific job, Jimmy. Given the number of snaps that he's had, Sean With the Allen's done a terrific job. He's a he's a very good passer. He's a terrific runner. He just hasn't had as many looks at everything as Timmy has uh, over the last three years. He is the most patient of football players. He has waited and waited. Now he is a fifth year senior. Second down and 10 from the 35. Withy Allen steps up with time, throws long up the sideline. Cochran just out of his reach. Cochran had a step on Blue Adams. Let's uh, go down again to Ross Yamanoha. Yeah, the word we're getting down here on the uh, Hawaii sideline, and believe me, they're not giving out information easily. It's a sprained left knee, and for at least for now, Timmy Chang will be out of the ball game. We have no word if it'll be for the rest of the ball game, but at least for now, Timmy Chang is on the Hawaii sideline. Hawaii leading 14 to 13. With the Allen returns to the huddle. It is third down and 10. For Hawaii, they are six for 11 in third down conversions in this game. So they come out with Colbert to the left and Cochran to the right. With the Allen, here comes the blitz. With the Allen is hit, fumbles the ball. Cincinnati will recover it. But was his arm moving forward? No, that's a fumble. A big turnover for Hawaii. Taiwan Hagler. University of Cincinnati tries, decides to blitz the backup quarterback, which is a good job. His arm was not coming forward when the ball was knocked out. This is a good call by the officials. Good call by A.J. Kristoff, the Cincinnati defensive coordinator, to blitz a backup quarterback. No, he's not coming forward. His arm is not coming forward. In the, the ball is out. In the National Football League, it would have been. First down. Going back to Oakland. <laughs> call last year. First down for Cincinnati, golden opportunity at the 37-yard line of Hawaii. They trail by only one, keeping the ball. Gadouli throws to McKeskey, and he gets it inside the 25-yard line of the 21. Incredible throw guy by Gadouli. He threw the ball off one leg all the way back to McKeskey, and McKeskey did a nice job of staying in bounds and make a catch. Gino Gadouli falling backwards, making the throw over the shoulder. And DeMarco McCleskey doing a nice job of hauling that ball in. DeMarco from Claremore, Oklahoma. McCleskey, that's his 22nd reception of the season. First down for Cincinnati at the 22. They trail by only one here in the third quarter. Quick throw, that is complete. With it is Olinger. Olinger is hit. And let's see. That'll be a first down for Cincinnati. Ball was on the ground. University of Hawaii had three players there. Cincinnati had Olinger there and the, couldn't come up with a football. Cincinnati keeps possession. Here's Gadouli throwing the football out in the flat. Olinger's got the football. The ball is knocked out. And the ball is recovered by Van. 
Ladaris Mann got on that football. Great job by Mann of being alert as Olinger dropped the football. Ball is at the 10. First down, goal to go for Cincinnati. Trying to recapture the lead. McCleskey hit at the line of scrimmage, able to keep his legs going maybe to the eight. They will give him forward progress only to the nine. Lance Samuseva and Pisa Tinoy Samoa there to double team him. Very short gain on the play. Second down, goal to go. Keith and Van to the far side. Olinger to the near side. Along with Murray. From the shotgun. Ball is given to McCleskey. McCluskey is bottled up as he gets to the eight. Another very short gain. Hawaii showing some pride here. Some ha hill. Travis LeBoy able to grapple him to the turf. Third down, goal to go now for Cincinnati. Hawaii changing, putting in linebackers. Alapa comes into the game and also an extra defensive back. Here's Cincinnati, third down, goal to go. They have the ball at the nine. Olinger throws. That is incomplete. Hiram Peters covering on the play. Pass was intended for Van. Excellent pressure. Nice by job Alapa. by the Hawaii defense. This ball is going to be intended for Van. He runs a wheel route and sits down, comes back to the inside. There's a little contact, but nice job by Hiram Peters. Excellent defensive stand by the University of Hawaii, and Ruffin is on to attempt the field goal. This is a chip shot. 25-yarder, and that is good. And Cincinnati, here in the second half, it has been all Cincinnati. They take the lead back, and they lead at 16-14 over Hawaii. 7-48 left to play in period number three. Join us Friday night at 10 for the Southern California Sports Report and the Pizza Hut Ultimate Fan Contest. During the show, we'll ask you a sports trivia question, and if you know the answer, write it down on a postcard along with your name, age, address, and phone number, and mail the card to Pizza Hut Ultimate Fan Contest, Fox Sports Net, 1999 South Bundy Drive, Los Angeles 90025. Answer the question correctly, and you can win a trip to a big college pig bowl game from Fox Sports Net and Pizza Hut, home of the new Chicago Dish Pizza. Shows will never be the same. The NFL Show on Fox Sports Net. Welcome back to Aloha Stadium. Apparently, the Hawaii training staff very busy during halftime because they have fitted quarterback Timmy Chang with a left knee brace. And some people on the training staff thought he was not going to come out for the second half, but he came out of the locker room late, fitted with that knee brace. He apparently is going to try to give it a go. Also, offensive lineman Shane Kajioka had a sprained right knee in the first half he also has been fitted with a knee brace and he's going to try to give it a go tonight as well chad owens overwhelmed as he gets over the 20 yard line out to the 23 hawaii now trailing 16 to 14 and we eagerly look to the sideline to see the quarterback and it is withy allen so withy allen will continue to uh, run this offense he coughed it up the last time the only turnover of the game and Cincinnati able to turn it in to a field goal. And they have reassumed the lead now, 16 to 14. I think Junes Jones Jim will use uh, great discretion here in before he puts Timmy Chang back in the football game. I agree with you. 
Withy Allen from the shotgun. Withy Allen does have potential. There's no doubt about that. He is a competent quarterback. Withy Allen with time. With time. Throws over the middle. That's complete. And he threw that in to a real crowd. I mean, that reception was made in a hotel lobby to Justin Colbert. And one of the Cincinnati defenders is down. You're going to see Sean with the Allen here taking his time, being patient, waiting for Colbert to open up to the inside and delivering a nice ball that was very, very catchable to Colbert for the first down. With the Allen showed great patience that time, really handled the pressure in the pocket very, very well, kept his eyes downfield and delivered a strike. Antoine Peake, apparently the injured Bearcat. And about the 39 yard line and our concern now for Antoine Peake. He's had just a fantastic season. Three fumble returns, two touchdowns against the Louisville and Houston. He is second in tackles on this team. Came into tonight's game with 70. He leads in the category of tackles for loss with 16. And he has a block field goal tonight, which means that he has had six for the season and he comes out under his own power which is a good sign we'll probably see him again well that's good that Pete can come out under his own power and hopefully he can get back in the football game here you see him flying in there he's hit by his own and player. he's hit one by one of his own players which happens so often because players are just flying around they're going 90 miles an hour trying to give great effort and Pete is one of the best Cochran in motion to the near side. First down from the 39-yard line. It is Cochran. Cochran is folded up by the defenders. And they give him forward progress out to the 44, gain of five. Second down and five yards to go. Willis Edwards and Blue Adams there to combine on the tackle. A much different philosophical approach with Withy Allen, a quarterback, Jim. Uh, A.J. Kristoff, the defensive coordinator from Cincinnati, pressuring now uh, more frequently than he did when, when Tim Chang was in the game. 6.55 left to play in the third period. Cincinnati leading 16 to 14. Colbert to the left, Cochran to the right. Herbert and Comini in the slots. In trouble and getting sacked is Withy Allen. Withy Allen had no chance that time. I mean, he was staring into white shirts right away. Trent Cole again. And Taiwan Hagler. Yeah, this one just a great job by the Cincinnati front. As you see Cole loose up front, number 85, and he's polished off by, by Hagler. Cole's second sack of this game. He now has four sacks on the season. And that brings up third down long yardage for Hawaii. Third and 14 from their own 35-yard line. And they are 6 for 12 in third down convergence. Here comes Cincinnati again with the Allen in trouble. He fumbles the ball. It's loose. It's still loose. Now it is recovered by Cincinnati at the 35-yard line. Now with the Allen is just carrying the ball out there like a loaf of bread with the when, when he's scrambling and he has to tuck the ball away if he's going to run the football. Now apparently it is no fumble. And they, they uh, will Holy say that cow. that's a forward pass. They're saying that that's a forward pass. Wow. I agree with Rick Minner. That is horrible. That gives Hawaii I a think fourth so. down. Yeah, I think this is a fumble. Oh, yes. That's a fumble. That ball was stripped. Antoine Peake came in. Remember, he was hurt just a minute ago. The only thing that could justify that, Jim, is if he said he was trying to flip it, he was trying to underhand it. But uh, that looked like uh, Cincinnati got the short end of that. Minter is incensed. There you see with the Allen. Waiting for the snap from center is McBriar. It has been all Cincinnati in this third period. High snap. McBriar gets it away. Oh, this is a beauty. Drives Keith back inside the 10. He makes the over-the-shoulder catch at the 5. Comes back upfield. Gets a great block. He's at the 20, the 25, the 26. And 
And a penalty flag comes in late. They have a personal foul or unsportsmanlike conduct. Two players were exchanging more than bravado. Diani Alapa and Chad Kapanui made the tackle. Now, if this is against Cincinnati, if this is on David, David Holly, this is really going to be difficult because it's way, way back at the two-yard line. This is a gigantic conference. That was a tremendous punt by Matt McGuire. The only thing I've seen kind of like him is a jugs machine. Illegal block in the back against the receiving team. The flag in the end zone is no foul. What number? What number? No foul. 536 left. Cincinnati will have it when we come back leading by two. CC basketball returns. A dominant form. A superior game. Tobacco Road comes alive as John Cheney's Temple Owls battle Wake Forest and superstar Josh Howard. ACC Sunday Night Hoops returns December 1st on Fox Sports Net. Basketball evolved to its highest state. NASCAR more exciting. The Daytona 500 returns this February only on Fox. This presentation of NCAA football is sponsored by Budweiser with the crisp, clean, refreshing taste you'll find in no other beer. Jim Leahy along with Dick Tomey, 536 left to play in the third period. Cincinnati leading 16 to 14 total offense in the third quarter Cincinnati 95 yards and Hawaii only 13. First down for Cincinnati from the 16 McCleskey. McCleskey for a yard that's all green shirts were there. Isaac Sapawanga and Travis LeBoy. I don't know if Cincinnati has a naked play off of that zone play they're running, but Gadouli, when he keeps the ball off the edge, there's nobody home. Cincinnati comes out in that spread formation. Four wide receivers. McCleskey again into the secondary looking for help. He gets it. 35, 40, 41 yard line. Oh, an excellent run by McCleskey. Boy, he explored that secondary 23-yard game. Well, this is one for all young players, young aspiring running backs to look at, Jim, because watch McCleskey here as he works his way through the line of scrimmage. Play is well blocked up front, but watch him cover the football as the University of Hawaii defenders get close by. Watch see him cover it up with both hands just to secure the football against somebody coming and stripping. Nice job by DeMarco McCleskey. First down for Cincinnati at the 41-yard line, their own 41. They lead by two. They come out with five wide receivers. Kajuli looking, throws long, and it is incomplete. Intended for Keith. Running behind him was uh, Tinoi Samoa. Tremendous speed by Tinoi Samoa. Staying step for step with Keith Samoa, a linebacker. And Keith, obviously, a very skilled wide receiver. And that's one of the reasons right there that the uh, NFL people will take a good look at Pisa Tinoi Samoa. Hall comes in. 
into that um, shotgun for protection for Gadouli. Second down and 10 from the 41. Gadouli throws. That is incomplete. It was ended for Olinger. And Olinger may have been bothered. Kevin Milhouse covering on the play, but may have been bothered in the pattern. Could have been LeBoy going up for it. We'll see. Well, this ball, there, somebody may have gotten a hand on this, just to possibly tipped it with a fingertip. Bonifa. Bonifa may have gotten a fingertip or at least hindered his vision. Third down and 10 for Cincinnati. 418 left to play in the third period. Again, five wide receivers. Three to the left, two to the right. Cincinnati trying to convert here from their own 41. And Olinger is sacked. Travis LeBoy. For LeBoy, that's his fourth sack of the season, first of this game. Let's see Travis LeBoy come around the edge. Come around the left end, just outrun the offensive lineman, runs the, the circle, offense. runs the loop, does a nice job. He gets help from his friends. And now they take it away. They take the sack away, and the officials call delay of game against Cincinnati. And they move it back to the 36-yard line, and it is still third down. Well, they would have also taken away a touchdown if Cincinnati was for a touchdown, too, so... Six of one, half a dozen the other. So a race the sack by LeBoy. Third down and 15 instead of third and 10. Triple wide receiver. Two backs, back with Gadouli. Steps up in the pocket. He throws, sideline pattern. That is incomplete. Threw it way high. It was intended for Van and double coverage. Peters was there along with Bonifo. And Abraham Elamimian also yeah, in that crowd. Here you see Nick Here Rolovich. See Nick Rolovich, great quarterback at the University of Hawaii last year, Denver Broncos. He may still have a career ahead in arena football, but what a boy. Look at his, his statistics, huh? There's the punt by Irvin. Waiting for it is Chad Owens. Takes it on the 23. Owens gets a block. It's tripped up, and down he goes. He may see if he's hurt. The way he went down. Now we have a penalty flag coming in very late. Owens gets up and he gingerly walks. See the way he went down, one was suspected that he had re injured. But he appears to be okay as he trots off under his own power. 16 14, Cincinnati. Dead ball. Personal foul. They get the kicking team. 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. Rick Minton, not exactly, not exactly calm right now. He is not pleased. Let's see. Let's see here if there's something happens uh, at the end of this run. Look like a clip. Hard to tell. It may have been something else. So that's a big that's a that's a big play for the University of Hawaii. Gives them a little field position. And in a game like this, field position can be everything. Good look at Rick Minter. First and ten for Hawaii at their own 39-yard line. With the Allen with his Old Testament hairdo. Throws. That is complete to Owens. Up the sideline. Owens at the Cincinnati 40. The ball comes out. And let's say Cincinnati may have it. No decision yet by this officiating crew. And the question was he down when the ball came out. Chad Owens, who 
was limping off the field under his own power, all of a sudden reappears. And he's at full speed. We may say he went out of bounds. The ball was fumbled forward and out of bounds. Recovered by Cincinnati, out of bounds. First down. All right, let's see this. It, the officials are saying the ball was fumbled forward and out of bounds. Here's Chad Owens coming up the field. He is still in bounds. The ball is stripped away from him before he goes down. Boy, that's close. Holy cow. That they is are saying, close. They are saying that they did not possess it before they went out of bounds. That call could have gone either way. Either way. I think that's uh, that's a tough it's a tough call to judge from here. With the Allen throws settling and making the catch is Justin Colbert at the 30 yard line. Gain on the play of eight. So away moves it to the 30. We are seeing all kinds of prestidigitations here. 318 left to play in the third period, 16-14. Cincinnati with the Allen taking over the reins of this Hawaii offense here in the second half. A couple of very close calls, Jim. In both cases, the vantage point that we have here was not the best vantage point, and the officials had the best vantage point, but boy, they look close. Triple wide receiver to the right now for Hawaii. Second down and two with the Allen, and we have a penalty flag flying right away on the snap of the ball. Dead ball, ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty, remains second down. There's the offensive line coach, Mike Cavanaugh. Mike Cavanaugh has very high standards for his offensive line and when they are not playing well, when they are not following his favorite word, technique, he lets them know in many different ways. Yeah, as he should, as he should. Colbert to the far side. Cochran to the near side, triple wide receiver to the right. Komini and also Ilawa. Throw, Komini intercepted. That's picked off and then spilled inside the 30 yard line by Ilawa. Picked off by Blue Adams. That's his fifth interception of the season. Now, Blue Adams is going to get penalized right there. Now, that's just a real lack of discipline. And Rick Minter is just, is right, and rightly so, he is very, very upset. Because that is just an example of somebody making an ex exhibition play, out of himself. Unsportsmanlike against Cincinnati. Half the distance to go. Half the distance to the go on the penalty. First down. Well, the now, interception stays. That turns it around and puts the Cincinnati offense back on the field with 222 left to play in the third period. Well, those that's that's the reason that those rules are in place. That's just it's a selfish play on the part of Blue Adams. And uh, you just have to care enough about winning that you don't do things like that. You celebrate with your teammates. And he's a terrific player. He's done a great job. He'll come back in the ball game and do a terrific job, but that's one of those kind of things that he cost his team uh, greatly. Oldest of 13 children. He has six brothers and six sisters. First down for Cincinnati at their own 15-yard line. They have dominated here in this third period. Gadouli to McCleskey. McCleskey again exploring the, the uh, Warrior secondary as he carries all the way from the 15 to the 24, that is nine yards. Houston Allah and Matt Wright finally converged on him. Now, Jim, a, a football team like Cincinnati that's got great pride, that's got great team feeling, those guys feel badly about, about Blue Adams' penalty, and they'll try to make up for that for him because he's one of their valued senior teammates, and they have tremendous relationships on this team. Second down and one for Cincinnati. From the spread, they give it to McCleskey again. He's into the secondary all the way out to the 35-yard line. That play has worked all game long for the Bearcats. 
11 yards that time. 23 carries, 120 yards now for McCleskey. Good Here you see back. McCleskey doing a great job of threading his way up inside, hanging on to the football before Gilmore makes a stop, and they're back out where they were before the penalty. 132 left to play in the third. First down from the 35 for Cincinnati. McCleskey again slides off one tackler and gets only to the 36. Houston Allah and Nui Correll. But you notice more than single, uh, more than just a single, single tackler. Kleski only the second Cincinnati running back to go over 3,000 yards in his career. And he's adding to that tonight. Second down and nine from the 36. Lekeski, Sapawanga got him. Loss on the play. Back to the 35-yard line. Sapawanga the first to him from Pongo Pongo, American Samoa. All right, let's take a look at Sapawanga in the box, number 97. Gets penetration deep in the backfield and makes a play on McCleskey with help from a number of Warrior defensive players. Sapawanga again continuing to get better and better and better. Just a junior. Third down at 11. From the spread formation. The Dooley lays it off. McCleskey up the sideline. The 40 and out of bounds short of the first down mark. Penalty flag comes flying in. I believe this is going to be against Cincinnati. Holding. Minter again upset. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay third down. Well, they will administer this uh, holding penalty. No time left in the third period. All right, let's see if we can see this holding penalty as Gadouli throws the ball back to McCleskey. You see it right there. Looked like a good call. So Cincinnati will have to run one more play as there is no time left in the third period. Can't end on the penalty. Third down 17. Gadouli, four-man pattern. Gadouli with all kinds of time. Now throws. It is complete, short of the first down. Olinger made the catch, but he's short of the first down. And that's the end of the third quarter. The fourth quarter looms. Still a very close game, 16-14. But Cincinnati has captured the momentum here in the second half. like this really exist on earth it does and we have a book that brings it all to life it's called islands of aloha it's full of discoveries and it has a guaranteed happy ending to get a free copy visit gohawaii.com or call toll free Every day, Ameridad helps more people with money problems. People like Tom Baker. My credit card debt was outrageous. Then I called Ameridad. They contacted my creditors and got my payments almost cut in half. Now I have only one small monthly bill. Ameridad is a nonprofit organization that offers free consultations to consumers seeking to eliminate their debt. People like the Shaws. Every month I pay our credit card bills, but the balances never seem to get smaller. Ameridet got our interest rates reduced, and now the balances are dropping dramatically. 
And what's even more amazing is our payments are less than before. Just call this number, and regardless of your credit, in minutes you can join the thousands of people who have turned their financial lives around. People like Maria Rinaldi. Before I called the Meredith, the creditors were calling every day. I thought bankruptcy was the only way out. Now I'm debt free and my credit rating has been restored. Call 800 405 6677. Ameridebt. Helping America get out of debt. Attention. The IRS will seize your car, home, bank account, and even garnish your wages if you owe back taxes and fail to act. Act now to stop liens, levy, seizures, payroll taxes, and wage garnishment by calling the Seidemann Law Firm. We can end your IRS nightmare for just pennies on the dollar. Don't wait until it's too late. Call the Seidemann Law Firm and we'll fight to settle your IRS problems for only pennies on the dollar. Don't be another IRS victim. Call today for a free confidential tax analysis. Call 800-405-6677. And welcome back to Aloha Stadium. You know, this, this game tonight against Cincinnati for Hawaii will start a, a final three-game homestand. And it was at this time last year when Hawaii had its final three home games. And uh, the Hawaii offense really took off. Quarterback Nick Rolovich had 500 yards plus passing in each of those ball games. And the opponents are quite similar. We got Cincinnati tonight. Hawaii played Miami of Ohio last year. Alabama was a big-name opponent, or is a big-name opponent for Hawaii this year. Last year, the big-name opponent was BYU, and we got a couple of Mountain West teams. Hawaii went big against Air Force Academy last year. San Diego State will close out the season against Hawaii next month. So a uh, big run for Hawaii at the end of last season, and I guess the guys in green, they're hoping they can do the same again this time around. 44-yard punt, six-yard return by Chad Owens as we begin the fourth period. Still a very close game. 16 for Cincinnati, 14 for Hawaii. Hawaii has been able to win five games in a row. And Timmy Chang has come back into the game wearing that brace. This is high drama, Coach. It is, it is. We're looking at a great finish here, Jim. Both of these teams have, have really spilled their guts out here. So Timmy Chang returns to the game at the start of the fourth period from the shotgun. Chang sets up. Oh, he has time. Throws along down the middle. It is broken up. Threw in the double coverage. It was intended for Colbert. And Zach Norton was there to bat it away. Norton, number 29. Timmy Chang in the first half was 19 for 29. He is now 19 for 30. 153 yards. So he returns to this game. Wearing that brace, that sprained knee. Cochran to the far side and Colbert to the near side. They come out in that spread formation. Comini and Ilawa in the slots. Chang, sideline pattern, throws it low. Comini cannot come back for it. Good pressure that time by Derek Adams, the defensive end. He's from Solon, Ohio. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. S-O-L-O-N. Third down and 10 for Hawaii here in the fourth period. And so another third down conversion facing Hawaii. They are six for 13 in the game. Cincinnati is uh, two for 12 in third down conversions, if you're wondering. Timmy Chang, here comes the blitz, the throw, and he had to hurry that. Pressure right in Tim Chang's face. Jason Russell. Jason Russell coming, humming off the edge, doing a great job. The Cincinnati team just quicker than anybody the University of Hawaii has played this year. More athleticism, more quickness. People get to things quicker, and you can see that out here tonight. Ty Keith is deep. Matt McBriar has come in to punt now for Hawaii here in the fourth period. 16-14 Cincinnati. Punt by McBriar. Boyd, look at this. That will go into the end zone. 56-yard punt. 14-28 left to play in the game. Cincinnati will have it at their own 20-yard line, leading by a pair when we come back. 
ready for a ghost story? Once upon a time, I designed the cars that define an entire era of American style. And like all good ghost stories, this one has a sequel. My name's Harley Earl, and I've come back to build you a great car. Somebody in here? It's showtime. Buick, the spirit of American style. I said, put Icy Hot in the Lion's kicker's sock, not Brian Urlacher's jock. Huh? J.B., Terry, Howie, and Jimmy host football's most animated pregame show, featuring Jillian's forecast and Kimmel's upset special. Fox NFL Sunday, this week on your local Fox station. Bradshaw? On the next Beyond the Glory, for Doug Flutie, being underestimated served as motivation. He won the Heisman. He proved everybody wrong. But his son's battle with autism became his toughest challenge. And then that scared living daylights out of us. And it gave him a purpose greater than football. I really believe that this is his calling in life. The triumphant story of a larger-than-life athlete, Doug Flutie, Beyond the Glory, tomorrow at 8 on Fox Sports Net 2. Big Island Candies in Hilo is home of the famous chocolate dip shortbread cookie, as well as other delectable chocolates. Visit them online at BigIslandCandies.com. First down for Cincinnati. Gaduli is 14 for 29 for 160 yards in passing. statistics as well as the score very close in this game. Gaduli looking sideline pattern throws that's complete to Olinger and Olinger advances from the 20 close to the first down out to about the 29 yard line. Both defenses Jim really dominating this game at this point. Good offensive football teams on both sides. Hawaii, one of the best in the country. And I think the defenses are both having a lot to say about the result of this game. They put it on the 28th, second down and two for Cincinnati. Tedrick Harwell is a single setback behind the dueling on second and two. Harwell. Harwell breaking tackles, and he gets the first down burrowing his way over the 30-yard line to the 31. Laanui Correa and Lance Samuseba there to double-team him for the Warriors. Cincinnati wants to just move the ball inexorably and then eat up the clock so Hawaii cannot put that passing offense into gear. They come out in the spread. Richard Hall is now back with Gaduli. It is Hall. 40. Out of bounds at about the 43. Excellent play. That's enough for a first down. Keith Bonifa able to usher him out of bounds. Get him the play of 12. I, I misspoke when, on that last punt, by the way. It was not a 56-yard punt by McBriar was a 66-yard punt. So There's Gadouli letting the ball go to Richard Hall. Gadouli seems to be gaining confidence as he goes here. First down from the 43-yard line. Cincinnati leading by two. Up the middle and carrying the ball close to the 44-yard line. Very short gain on the play. Sapuanga and Kalili Moku there to make the stop. Tedrick Harwell carrying. They give him a spot just short of the 45, and it will be second down, about eight and a half. Van and Olinger are flanked to the far side. Long down the middle. Incomplete. Was intended for Ty Keith, but he was well covered. David Gilmore with him all the way, and that'll bring up 
third down long yardage. In the third period, Cincinnati was able to convert on third down on long yardage. We have not seen McCleskey here in the fourth period. There's Chief Billy. Hall and Harwell are back there with Gadouli on third down and eight. Double wide receiver to the left. Gadouli to throw. With time, throws. That's complete to Olinger. Olinger just got into the secondary and then just turned in front of uh, Peters and made the stop. That was Leonard Peters and Abraham Ilamimian finally stopped him, kind of stood him up. Nice throw here from Gadouli to Olinger. Olinger just runs a stop route. There you see Peters uh, coming in. Ilamimian trying to hold him back. So the ball is advanced into Hawaii territory to the 41 yard line. Tedrick Harwell back there with Gadouli. Quick pass, and this is Murray. Cincinnati, really, you talk about variation on a the theme. I mean, they are getting everybody involved in this offense on this drive. Keith Bonifat there to make the stop for Hawaii. So Cincinnati moving the ball. Gadouli just feeling more and more comfortable, it appears, all the time. He, he feels like he knows what he's, he's seeing and he knows where to go with the football. He's done a really nice job of dishing the ball off to a number of different receivers. Kevin Hazel has come into the game, number 19. He is flanked to the left. They come out in the spread formation. Gadouli on second down. Gives the ball to Harwell. Harwell turns the corner. 25. Harwell is spun down at about the 22. Oh, excellent blocking that time by Cincinnati. And a penalty flag comes in, and we have holding. Maybe that's why. Coach Minter protesting the call. Holding. 67. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay second down. You get out of my face. Well, you heard that. Uh, you heard that confrontation. Okay. Let's see if we can see the hold on Pisa Tinoy Samoa. They called it on Gardner, number 67. They called it on 67. There's just such a difference in the, the, the discrepancy in the penalties in this game in, in three quarters. Cincinnati had 84 yards, Hawaii 15. Second down and 10. A ball back at the 40-yard line. Olinger rolling. Now throws up the sideline, and he has a receiver, Olinger. And he's bumped out by Illuminian inside the 10-yard line. That was a terrific throw by Gino Gadouli going to his left, letting the ball go to Olinger, who was working deep. And the ball was just thrown so that he could come down with it. It's kind of an underthrown streak, an underthrown wheel route to Illuminian. Elamimian on defense. 32-yard gain. Olinger now seven catches for 102 yards, and here comes Cincinnati. They have first down and goal to go on the eight-yard line of Hawaii. They come out with a wing to the near side, and the ball is given to Tedrick Harwell, and Harwell struggles. Very minor gain if any he was swarmed under Tino Samoa and Houston Allah that will bring up second down and goal to go the ball at the eight the Dooley into the end zone fade route Touchdown. No, no, that ball came out. That ball came out. That ball came out. Holy cow, what a finish we're in for. Boy, I thought Olinger had that one. 
Let's take a look here. Gino Goduli throwing the just the fade route to Olinger. Big receiver goes up. And the ball ought comes. to catch that one. Oh. Would love to have that again. Third down, goal to go. Olinger is flanked to the right. Arwell is to the left. Quick pass into the end zone, batted away. Batted away by Pisa Tinoi Samoa. That is tremendous instinct by Pisa Tinoi Samoa. He left his coverage, he left his man, and went in and got a piece of the ball. You can't see it here, but you'll see him flash back inside, leaving his coverage and going and making a play on the football. Ruffin trying for his third field goal. This another chip shot. A 25-yarder. The kick is up. And it is good. It is now 19-14. Cincinnati, 10-53, left to be played in the game. And the Bearcats slowly see. Now you can celebrate the Anaheim Angels' first World Series championship with Sports Illustrated's exclusive World Series championship package. You'll get the official 2002 Major League Baseball World Series home video, available on DVD or VHS, plus this Sports Illustrated hardbound World Series commemorative, both free with your paid subscription. Your official World Series home video lets you relive all the moments that made the fall classic unforgettable. Call now and you'll also get Sports Illustrated's hardbound, gold-lettered, individually numbered World Series commemorative. Both are free when you order 55 issues of Sports Illustrated for only $1.59 an issue. Save more than 50% off the cover price. When you use your credit or debit card, you'll also get this 2002 World Series Championship Baseball with an individually numbered medallion free. Celebrate the Angels' first World Championship with Sports Illustrated. Get into it. The rivalry, the big game, and the BCS implications. Tonight on the Southern California Sports Report, Trojans and Bruins face off, and Carson Palmer goes off. We'll bring you complete highlights, post-game reaction from both locker rooms, and analysis from Matt and Petros. And we'll tell you if there's trouble for Bob Toledo. Plus, as USC looks for roses, the rest of the BCS begins to take shape. Your teams, your town, your show, the Southern California Sports Report after the game. Cincinnati, 72 yards in 13 plays, culminated by a 25-yard field goal by Ruffin. That's his third field goal. It is now 19-14 Cincinnati. Verizon Hawaii proudly continues its support of the University of Hawaii General Scholarship Fund by honoring a player from each team in tonight's game. Ruffin will kick off Chad Owens deep for Hawaii. Hawaii really has been stymied here in the second half. Kickoff will go to Owens, right down the middle. He takes it at the goal line. To the 27. So Hawaii just has not been able to put anything consistently together. There you see what they've done. Fumble, punt, interception, and punt here in the second half. 12 plays. So Timmy Chang wearing that knee brace. Thero Mitchell back with him. Mitchell has scored the two touchdowns for Hawaii tonight. The Warriors trailed 19 to 14. Timmy Chang. Wide open, Colbert. Colbert trying for some help. Gets to the 40, gets to the 43. Justin Colbert, 16 yard gain on that play. Here you see Timmy Chang just letting Justin Colbert have it on the stop route. Cuts back to the inside for a 16-yard gain. And credit Comine trying to help him with blocking over the middle. First down from the 42. Timmy Chang looking left. Now throws and throws it wide of Colbert. And, you know, you wonder about uh, that brace and, and putting that foot down and then throwing. 
all of that comes into play, and we cannot diagnose or even have any kind of prognosis from way up here. No, I, I don't think the Hawaii staff, the Hawaii medical people would have Timmy Chang in the game if he wasn't able to protect himself. I know he wants to play. He wants to try to lead his team back to victory. And but but uh, see, you see, with that, and I agree with that, it's still different wearing that. Sure break. it is. Sure it is. Absolutely. Second down and 10 from the 42-yard line for Timmy Chang. Chang looking over the middle. Now throws. Throws behind him. Oh, it's in the air, and it's almost picked off. And we'll see whether it's an interception or whether it is an incomplete pass, and they say it's an incomplete pass. The ball finally worked its way to the turf. Now, this is a great job by Ilawa of playing defense right here because this ball is going to be a pick. And watch him fly in there and knock the ball out. Great job by Nate Ilawa of knocking that ball out. He turned from a wide receiver into a defensive back and made the play. Jason Hunt almost Jason intercepted. Jason Hunt almost had it. Chang 20 of 35 now, 168 yards. In the second half, he is one for six for only 15 yards. And he is faced with a third and 10 from the 42. Fourth quarter, away trailing, 19-14. Chang, he wants that long one, but it is incomplete. He wanted Colbert up the near sideline. Covering on the play was Zach Norton. So Hawaii frustrated again. And they will have to punt it away. Ten minutes exactly left to play in the game. Cincinnati really has shut doors on this Hawaii offense. So Ty Keith is back. And we'll see whether Matt McBride gets off another 66-yarder. That was his longest punt of the season. We'd like to get one that would uh, put Hawaii, have Cincinnati take shop, take the ball inside the 20. This will be taken by Keith at the 17. Keith out over the 20 to about the 22. 42 yard punt and 11 yard return. 1914 Cincinnati. Nine minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the game. And they're behind the steering wheel. Let it snow, let it snow. new Dodge Ram heavy duty. Did you mean the Charger? Because you know that's got a Hemi too. You're right. <laughs> now with a 345 horsepower, 5.7 liter Hemi Magnum. Grab a Dodge Ram heavy duty and get a $1,000 cash allowance plus a seven year or 70,000 mile powertrain limited warranty. Let's watch Ty Keith here. You see him coming off the field and we'll get a chance to take a look at this collision with the Kaika Kernan. Right there, helmet to helmet. That's a headache right there. Ty Keith, the senior from College Park, Georgia. Cincinnati begins this drive, first down from their own 28-yard line. McCleskey comes back into the game, and he gets into the mix master and is twirled around. Get on a play of one to the 29. Isaac Sapawanga rising up. Sapawanga and Samuseva are tough to block inside. They're very physical inside players. Hawaii defense knows that time slowly ticking away, and as it does, 
it is more of a factor in favor of Cincinnati. McCleskey. He's knocked down at the 32. Nice job by the run defense of the University of Hawaii. They know that Cincinnati's going to come in here on first and second down and try to keep the ball moving by running it. And they've done a nice job of giving them a third and six. On third downs, Cincinnati here in the second half has gone for those sideline patterns, those very quick patterns. And they have Olinger flank to the right. Three wide receivers to the right side. And Ty Keith is to the left. Intercepted. Chris Brown, the 30. 25. Brown still on his feet at the 15. They're trying to steal the ball from him. Down he goes. Listen to this crowd. Holy cow. What a great play by Chris Brown. An option route, and he stepped right in the middle of it and picked it off. Well, you see Gadouli laying the ball into the, into the flat to Murray. Here you see another angle. Great hands on the part of Chris Brown. There's a lot of football players that could knock that down, could get their hands on it, but could not catch it. Nice job by Chris Brown on that ball thrown to Murray. Second interception of the season for Chris Brown. Hawaii with an absolute incredible opportunity here with the ball at the 12-yard line. They trailed 19-14, and they want the crowd quiet. Timmy Chang in the shotgun. Hero Mitchell back there with him. Timmy Chang looking toward the end zone. Throws into the end zone. Batted away. Batted away. Intercepted. Here comes Cincinnati back the other way to the 10 to the 11-yard line. Cincinnati turnabout is fair play. And all of the emotion of just moments ago for Hawaii fans comes crashing down as Cincinnati is able to turn it around with an interception. Ivan Fields, that's his third interception of the season. Jimmy, what, what, Jim Leahy, what a tremendous surge of emotion here by this crowd and both teams as Fields intercepts this football and Hawaii goes from way up high to down low. They got to get themselves back. Here's where you can't let the, what happens in the game influence the way you play. You just got to keep playing. You got to keep fighting because this is a great football game. The crowd is into it. Both teams are into it. And this is, uh, we're headed to a terrific finish here tonight. Eight minutes, eight seconds left. First down for Cincinnati. The ball at the 12. Kadouli to McCleskey, and he, McCleskey, gets hit in the backfield. That was almost instantaneous. Travis LeBoy's off the speed edge. off the edge. Travis LeBoy's speed off the edge. He's been injured, but you're going to see him come down the line of scrimmage and make this play from behind. He flattens right down the line of scrimmage and gets McCluskey from behind. McCluskey and the ball ended up on the seven-yard line where it will be second down. Second down and 14. McCluskey again. He's hit. Boy, that's just a swarming defense. The defense is doing a terrific job. The crowd is doing a fabulous job. Kalili Moku and Sapuwanga. Kalili Moku, you see him there, number 56. If the University of Hawaii is to win this football game, this crowd will get a big assist. Kalili Moku was the first man to McCleskey. Ball is back at the five. Third down. Long yardage. McCluskey in the end zone. They take the handle. With time. Gadouli throws it long. Throws it into double coverage. Incomplete. Milhouse was there. And Hiram Peters was there. It will be fourth down. And Cincinnati has to kick it out of the end zone. Well, they've got to kick to Chad Owens, and the University of Hawaii is going to get great field position. If this was a six-point lead instead of a five-point lead, you'd take a safety here. 
6.33 left to play in the game. Snap. There is the punt. Comes out, comes out. It will take a Hawaii bounce in midfield, and it's down there. So Hawaii has an opportunity here, another opportunity that has presented itself. Six minutes, 21 seconds left. 45-yard punt and no return. 19 for Cincinnati, 14 for Hawaii. And Hawaii needs that touchdown. 45-yard punt, Jim. No return. Terrific job by Irvin of just getting that. He kicked the ball to the sideline, did not allow Chad Owens to get his hands on the football. That's the second time that he has done that. Kick, yes. Kicked out of the end zone and has done well. So Hawaii comes out, triple wide receiver to the right side. Timmy Chang looking, throws. That is complete. And with it is Jeremiah Cochran, and Cochran very close to the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 49-yard line for the Warriors, and he has advanced it to just inside the 42. This is where having a poised, experienced quarterback who's seen it all and understands the offense completely can make such a difference. Jimmy Chang's interception is 14th of the season. Hawaii has turned it over three times. A fumble and two interceptions, one by Withy Allen, one by Timmy Chang. Second down, very short yardage. Timmy Chang with all kinds of time. Throws long. Colbert incomplete. Just off his fingertips. Hawaii has been trying to complete that all night. They had a chance very early on in this game. Colbert had the ball slip away from him. And that was a classic deep ball down, Jim. Third, second and less than one. Go for it, throw the ball down the field, come back and pick up your first down on third or fourth down uh, very easily. Third down for Hawaii, five minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the game. Hawaii third down, about a half yard for the first down from the shotgun. Timmy Chang looking throws, that is complete to Kamini. First down, Kamini still on his feet, finally is dumped as he gets inside the 35 to the 33. Britton Komine, yet another catch in this game. This is Britton Komine. He's going to catch this ball. He's the inside receiver. He's going to be tackled by Jason Russell coming inside out. Just getting him by the foot. Komine's seventh catch of the game. 165 yards for Komine, first down from the 33-yard line of Cincinnati. Hawaii trailing, 19-14. Clock ticking away. Timmy Chang with time. Throws long, wants the touchdown again. Cochran! He's got it! Great job by Tim Chang throwing the football. Cochran worked, kept working, and caught the ball going down flat on his back. Cocker beat Blue Adams, who's an excellent defensive back. He's the outside receiver. This is Blue Adams right here. Just watch Cochran right straight up the field. He finds the ball. He turns over the outside shoulder and makes the catch as he falls down. Terrific play. Timmy Chang. For Timmy Chang, that is his 20th touchdown throw of the season. And for Cochran... That is his third touchdown reception. Hawaii, Hawaii go going for, for two. two. They're go going for two. for two. Cochran is flanked to the right. Colbert, Ilawa, and Kumine to the left. Hawaii going for the two-point conversion. Timmy Chang throws into the end zone. That's intercepted. And the two-point conversion does not stand. That's it big, is, too. It is 20 to 19. Yes, with not. five minutes and ten seconds left to play. And when you look back at this game, Jonathan Ruffin of Cincinnati already has hit three field goals. And with more than five minutes left, Cincinnati is in the wheelhouse. The field goal wins for the Bearcats if they can get down there. But I, I think that uh, both teams are going to get the ball a couple more times in this game. I don't think this is... This is, uh, this is going to get wild down to, down to the finish. Credit Hawaii. I mean, you talk about high drama situations. Here comes Timmy Chang. Knee brace. 
They really struggled in the third quarter to carry that over into the fourth quarter. And all of a sudden, magic as Chang hits. Credit Hawaii, Jim. Credit this crowd. The crowd has been fabulous. And, and credit Cincinnati. This has been a terrific football game, and there's a lot of football yet to be played. Gino Gaduli has come back many times in his career to bring his team back, so hold on to your hat. Touchdown pass. Chang to Cochran, 33 yards. Chang was 3 for 4, 51 yards on that drive. Kicking off is Ayat. Harwell and Jones are deep. It will go to Harwell. Five yards into the end zone. He will not return it. Cincinnati begins at the 20. Cincinnati will not be able to communicate very well now in, in the rest of the football game. They're going to have to communicate visually because they're not going to be able to hear very much when Hawaii's on defense. This the crowd Hawaii, really getting into it. The like Hawaii crowds like offense, but they love defense. They love defense. They know when to, when to raise the roof. And when this stadium rocks, it rocks. It rocks. Literally. Gaduli, spread formation. He gives the ball to McCleskey. And McCleskey just maybe gets to the 22. That's all. And that may be liberal. We'll see where they put him down. They put it at the 21. Second down and nine. 437, 436 left the play in the game. Gaduli again from the shotgun. Second and nine. Gaduli rolling. Gaduli throws it out of bounds. That'll bring a third down. Nobody open. Not a soul open. Rich Miano secondary doing a nice job of playing in front and behind receivers, squeezing their coverage down. Nobody open. Play of the game so far. Yeah, we may have exactly. many, many more have, before it's over. Yeah, we're going to have several of those, but this is a big play right here. Hawaii's defense needs to get off the field. Third down and nine from the 21. Timeout. Timeout for Cincinnati. 423 left to play in the game. Gadlam at Aloha. Hawaii leads 5-1. There's no place quite like the Test and Auto Center when it's time for your next car. The brands America loves best. Acres and acres of new and used vehicle values. Award-winning service all in a beautiful park-like environment that will set you at ease and make your visit an unhurried, pleasant experience. What more could you ask for from the number one auto center in all Orange County? So many brands to remember. Great deals you'll never forget at the Test and Auto Center. So she says we're like two trees, and like my tree needs to grow more or something like that. What is that? It's my Jack hat. So they think I'm Jack. It works. I just ordered a combo meal, and when I asked for seasoned curly fries instead of regular fries, I got them. No extra charge, because I'm Jack. Because of the hat. Doofus, they're swapping curly fries for free for anyone. They don't think you're Jack. And how come they gave me his paycheck? Guess who I'm standing next to? <laughs> Four twenty-three left. The Dooley, nineteen of forty, two hundred thirty-one yards, a touchdown and an interception. But he is zero for his last five in passing. Huge third down play. From the shotgun, Graduli with time, steps up, throws over the middle. That is tipped, incomplete. Q 
Keith Bonifa dropping back into the pattern was intended for John Olinger. And Cincinnati trailing by one for all intents and purposes now will have to punt it away. 417 left. Chad Owens deep for Hawaii. Hawaii leading 20 to 19 in a spectacular game. Irvin with time to punt. This does not have much distance. It bounces. Hawaii players trying to stay away from it. And it is down at the Hawaii 45 yard line. 407 left to play in the game. 34 yard punt and no return. So Hawaii now with the clock all of a sudden an ally. They come in and they take over. Timmy Chang talking to, Dun, uh, to uh, June Jones. June Jones, one of those personalities that he doesn't get too high, he doesn't get too low, except perhaps when it comes to the official. Well, Hawaii needs points right here. They need, they need to hang on to the football, obviously, if they hang on to the football for the next four minutes or seven seconds, they win, but they, they would like to get points because they're in a precarious lead at this point. A field goal for Cincinnati would win. Well, the umpire has picked up the football and he has moved it one yard up the field from the 45 yard line of Hawaii to the 46. So the chains adjust accordingly. Hawaii comes out with three wide receivers set up on the right. He rolled Mitchell with Timmy Chang again from the shotgun. Timmy Chang looking right. Throws long again up the sideline for Cochran. Over his head, incomplete. Hawaii wanted it again. They like that magic. Blue Adams covering on the play. Jeremiah Cochran with that touchdown, that 33 yard touchdown catch moments ago. Second down and 10 for Hawaii. And the ball. At their own 46, clock is stopped, 4 to 1 left to play. Cochran and Colbert are the wide receivers, but this time Hawaii overloads the left side. Timmy Chang. Chang running out of trouble. Remember, he's got that brace. He gets to the 50. He gets Great the job. first down. Great job by Timmy Chang. And he's got some fast guys chasing him, Jim. 11-yard romp by Timmy Chang. You talk about gutsy. Yeah, this is a terrific play. He takes it to the outside. Antoine Peake is one of the guys chasing him. And Timmy Chang just gets the first down. Taiwan Hagler almost had him. 344 left to play. Hawaii leading by one. This time Hawaii overloads the right side. In motion is Ilawa. Jimmy Chang gives the ball to Fuel Mitchell. Works off a block by Manawai. And then he gets sandwiched by the linebackers that come up and hit him as well as uh, members of the secondary and Demarcus Billings who Drifted along the line. Good inside out move by Billings. What Rick Minner said going into the game is he didn't want Hawaii to run, be able to run the football at this time in the game. He wanted them to have to feel like they had to throw it. Let's see exactly what their feelings are. The run was stopped that time. Second down and about eight and a half. Ball is resting just inside the 42 yard line of Cincinnati. Two seconds, one second to snap the ball. Hawaii calls a timeout. An amazing game. First Terrific. it was Cincinnati. Then at halftime, it was Hawaii. And the third quarter was all Cincinnati. Cincinnati leading 19 to 14. And then a 33-yard touchdown pass from Timmy Chang, who did not play in the third period, who was injured, who came out late, who was wearing a brace. He throws it to Cochran for the touchdown and Hawaii ekes ahead and is leading 20 to 19 with two minutes and 45 seconds left to play. It was supposed to be like this. This is one of those games that has lived up to all the hype. Well, Jim, if you look at if you look at Cincinnati's games this year, West Virginia was a three point game. They lost 
Ohio State was a four-point game they lost. Miami of Ohio was a five-point game they lost. So their losses have been very, very close games, just like this game. Cincinnati has been in these pressure cooker situations all season long. So they're one of those teams that, that could very well end up in a bowl game, could very, end up high, high in their conference, but they could very well have just had a sensational year with a break here and a break there against West Virginia, against Ohio State, and so on. One of the pregame philosophies going into this game was that many felt Cincinnati had played a better schedule, a tougher schedule uh, than Hawaii had. And well, Hawaii in here trying to protect its national ranking at number 25. And here's Cincinnati trying to win games to become even more bowl eligible. They are right in a dogfight in the in Conference USA. Well, there's no question about the schedule. I think Cincinnati has played a tougher schedule, but certainly Hawaii is competing very, very well and fiercely here tonight. Second down and eight from the 42, Timmy Chang with time. Throws long again for Cochran. Overthrows him. Boy, they are really working on that side, going deep. And then Timmy Chang goes down. Blue Adams again defending on that play, but concern now for Timmy Chang. And we have a personal foul called on Cincinnati. All right, let's see this. Here comes the blitz. The ball's gone. And he comes in low after the ball is gone. That's Taiwan a late Hagler. hit by Yvonne Hagler. Kind of rolled up into Timmy Chang. Rolled up into him after the ball was gone. That's a lethal play. Personal foul. Get the defense. 15 yards, automatic, first down. That could... Ball is gone a long time, and oh, he went right into the knee. Right into that it. sure is. That is not a good picture at all, the videotape of the proof of that. Well, that's one of those kind of plays you, you, you hope that that young man uh, lost his balance and, and went in there because he lost his balance. see June Jones out now talking to the official and he wanted uh, he wants uh, Hagler tossed June Jones uh, came out to check on Timmy Chang 239 left to play and of course our concern now for Timmy Chang this is a young man who has been through a lot well, I mean, you talk about pain dues Yes, he has, and he's, he's come along this year and done a terrific job. No, but I think he could have lost his balance. I, I, to me, I think you always give, I would give the athlete the benefit of the doubt. I can't tell what's in his mind. He's losing his balance, but certainly it, that looks bad just looking at it. But I think... Uh, Players are just all trying to get there. They're trying to give great effort. So this is not. And I just give the yeah, athlete. You're not, I'm not comfortable with this. Are you comfortable? I mean, I'm not comfortable with what I'm seeing here in the videotape and also in the injury to Timmy Chang, but they've gotten him to his feet, and uh, I don't think he will be able to continue. You never can tell. But he is being helped from the field. Well, I, you know, obviously he looks like that knee is really hurt. Crowd is standing for Timmy Chang. He came into this game and he delivered a 33-yard touchdown pass to put Hawaii ahead by one. Now it's up to Withy Allen again. So Sean Withy Allen, the most patient of players who has waited for his opportunity, and he comes out with 2.39 left on the clock. Leading by one. The penalty has advanced the ball to the 26. Now you see the penalties. 13 for 109 yards for Cincinnati. 
Oh, he's been penalized only 15 yards. Ball is given to Mitchell, and Mitchell able to crack inside the 25-yard line to the 23. Cincinnati will call a timeout to stop the clock with two minutes and 31 seconds left. Cincinnati has to make a stand right here. They have to use their timeouts. They have to limit. Timeout. limit uh, Cincinnati, their second timeout of the second half. University Please put 2.31 on the clock. 2.31. They just, the Cincinnati has to use their timeouts. This has to be their last stand right here. Hawaii will try a field goal if they, if they don't, if they get stopped here, and then Cincinnati has to be able to move the football. Jim, I think as far as Timmy Chang's injury, first of all, I think people look at that and they say that young man did that on purpose. I, I know, I've known athletes all my life. I don't think athletes go into his knee right there on purpose. I think I give them that benefit of the doubt. Now, only the athlete himself knows that. But I think all football players know how difficult it is to play, know how vulnerable a player is in that situation, and I just don't think they, they, they intentionally do that. Uh, but as I say, only an athlete would know what his motivation was and if he was, had his balance and his wits about him at, at that time. And you also have to, as they are willy, uh, wheeling uh, Timmy Chang off the field into the locker room, you also have to think about what he has done the rest of the game. He has played very spirited the rest of the game. Sure. He's played very well. Sure. So I, I think uh, it's just it's just one of those. Uh, it's a, Timmy Chang has just played his buns off. He came back on the field. He was injured. He led his team uh, down the field. He was trying to lead his team down the field again. And uh, we, we wish him well. We, uh, we hope that uh, he can recover from that injury. In motion is Ilawa. Ball is kept by Withy Allen inside the 20. And down at the 16, very close to the first down. Withy Allen <laughs> running a kind of an, a form of an option. That's an option play, a down-the-line option with Withy Allen. He's 225, 230 pounds, turning up inside with the football, and he may have picked up the first down. And uh, John West had come into the game and was the single setback, and they are very close to the first down. The Bearcats have one timeout left. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Hawaii leading 20 to 19 in a terrific game. Well, and I'm sure all of Hawaii's, all of the Hawaii players want to get this win for, for everybody here, for everybody in the state. They also want to get it for Timmy Chang. You have to credit Cincinnati coming from Conference USA at this time of the season. Well, you sure do, because in Cincinnati right now, it's like 2.30 in the morning. And so this is a tremendous effort by the University of Cincinnati, and the game is going to come down to this last 2.15, and anything can happen. Third down and about a yard. West remains in as the running back behind with the Allen. Now this needs to be like goal line defense here. Cincinnati just needs to draw a line in the sand. Under two minutes to play. With the Allen milking the clock, taking all the time. With the Allen quarterback sneak. Whether he made it, we'll see. That's close. I think he did. He got a little bit of a surge. One minute and 46 seconds left. That's a better surge by the Hawaii offensive line than they had earlier in the game. First down. That's Hawaii. a big first down. Huge first down. Now they just need to run the ball four times. And they can stop the clock once. Lock is running, 134 left. They could, and it is ticking away. They could quarterback sneak this thing four times so they don't take any chances on his ball exchange. With the Allen 
gives it to John West. West, maybe a yard. And a penalty flag. Boy, penalty flag just come out all over the place. Doug Monahan may have been guilty of a personal foul. Well, we don't want this, we don't want the game to deteriorate here. Both teams have played so hard, though. There's a lot of emotion out there, Jim, on the part of both teams, on the part of all the fans, on the part of the fans back in Cincinnati watching this. They can all be Dead so ball. proud. Personal foul against the defense. Penalty is half it is for the goal. Automatic first down. Two Cincinnati players have walked into the Hawaii huddle, and they, I don't know what they're talking well, about. Hawaii just takes needs to take a knee four times here and go home because don't hand the ball off. Don't exchange it. You take a chance on dropping it. Just take it and drop to a knee, and it's a great win. So Cincinnati burns their final timeout. Now, that discrepancy in penalties is the kind of thing that, that uh, obviously doesn't happen very often, and Rick Minner is going to want to talk about that, I'm sure. Cincinnati, the third and last timeout of the second half, put 1.15 on the clock. 1.15 on the clock. Minter not happy. He may not be happy with the officiating, but at the same time, you can make the case he is not happy with the conduct of his players at very crucial times in this game. But that is a big discrepancy in penalties, Coach. Well, it is, and some of that's lack of discipline. There may have been a bad call here or there, but some of it's lack of discipline. And I'm sure, I know every coach feels that way, that they did that. Winning the penalty battle is as much a part of winning as winning the turnover battle. Some of the players are actually reaching across and shaking hands now with 115 left during this time out there you see with the Allen. Well, they shouldn't be shaking hands yet. They need to take some snaps here and sit down. There's the old New York Giants game way, way back many years ago when all they had to do was take a snap and they couldn't do it. The ball popped up in the air. Somebody, whoever they were playing, picked it off, ran for a touchdown. Coach Minter now has walked out into the Cincinnati huddle. Hawaii already bowl eligible. They will play on Christmas Day in the Hawaii Bowl. And they will play against the team from Conference USA. So the final timeout has been spent. And with one minute and 15 seconds left in Cincinnati unable to stop the clock now, Hawaii has the ball at the Cincinnati 7. And they will take a knee to run the clock down. With the Allen, takes the knee. Let's take a look now at the Verizon players of this game. And for Cincinnati, it is the quarterback, DeMarco, rather it's the running back, excuse me, DeMarco McQuesty. 31 rushes, 121 yards, and for Hawaii, Chad Owens, 222 all-purpose yards, most of them on punt and kickoff returns. Horizon Hawaii is pleased to make a contribution to scholarships. Horizon Hawaii making progress every day. Now we have things turning rather ugly. Both teams starting to come off the benches, and that is dangerous. They cannot do that. Vince Monawai pushed, uh, pushed the defender off, and that got everybody upset. 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Hawaii is going to win this game by one point, 20 to 19. Hawaii will have won their sixth in a row, and they will be nine and two. And a wonderful job by the Hawaii crowd. Great job by the Warriors. Nice job by the University of Cincinnati as well. And here we go. This is dumb. This is stupid. 
And this will give this game a bad ending, a bad feeling. One point games do that. But this well, is we not just good need to all. get some we just need to get some coaches out there that so cool heads prevail here, Jim. Because there's a lot of emotion that goes into this game on the part of all these players. And the Hawaii players are incensed because they feel like their quarterback was taken out of the game. And there we go. This is unbelievable on a Division I level that it would get to this point. Well, like Coach Jones is standing out here in the middle of the field. And it just continues. It ebbs and flows. I mean, coaches from well, both coach, teams are in there. Well, Coach Jones is out here in the middle of the field. This is just too much. A one-point game and all of the emotions. Coaches on both sides trying to separate everybody. And maybe they're succeeding. So finally the teams, the teams start to separate. Take a look at the Heineken play of the game, the Heineken moment. Uh, the Red Star moment, and it is the difference in this game. 33-yard touchdown pass from Timmy Chang to Jeremiah Cochran. And we'll take another look on the isolation. Cochran, number 19, and that ball from Chang placed where he could catch it. So both teams still with bravado, still with a lot of language now between the two. And this game ends, it ends uncomfortably. It ends with a bad feeling. And yet both teams play very, very well. Both teams play with spirit. And so now maybe the cooler heads will say, you know, it was a great game. It was a one point game. One of the Cincinnati players is down. But this just is not, this is just not good. There you see some sportsmanship between um, Vince Manawai and uh, Demarcus Billings. Teams are really taking a long time walking off here. Final score of this game, Hawaii 20, Cincinnati 19. This has been another broadcast of the Warrior Football Network from my broadcast partners, Dick Tomey and Russell Yamanoha. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully the field gets cleared quickly. And what we should be doing is Malama Pono Kekahi Ikekahi. Live from our Fox Sports Net Studios inside Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, it's the Southern California Sports Report. Presented by your local Hyundai dealers.